Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Oh, that's too bad. You've been sarcastic or something, my like man. Oh, you should never mix your drink. <laughs> well, are you retarded? I'll have to take this abuse much longer. You're a fool. You're a fool. You're a fool. <laughs> Oh, that's what we call diarrhea. You think this is a fucking joke? This ain't Kenny Cameron. There's no Agent Cameron. Oh shit, I've said fuck, oh fuck, I've said shit. Fuck your arse. Get a weapon collector's arse. I could knock him out in the shed. Are you kidding me? That is crazy. I want a gunfire, a pistol, a gunfire, 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 a Yeah, right, everyone, how are you? So, Metallic, Zed, Mother, 4x4, and Barney. Looks like you all shit the bed. You're joining so early. Shit the bed. <clears throat> yes, how are you? Like, you're right. I ain't too bad. A bit of a bad mood, but I ain't too bad. I'll be all right. Uh, Rich, Pete, how you doing? You're right. Let's get on to live chat. Yeah, Metallic, you were first. You were, my queen. You were definitely first. Yeah. Um, what you lot been up to then? I don't really do what have I done today? I've got something sent to me today. Well, I've received something that was being sent to me today, which I'll show you later when there's more people on. Um I finished off the plants that Jim bought around, Jim M bought around. I what else? I uploaded the video for that. So on um have you also shit the bed fit? Actually, here you go. This one goes out to Richard and Pete. They're slightly later. Bed shitters, but you're joining so early. Shit the bed. <laughs> so yeah, um, I've uploaded a video that will go live on Sunday. That's about um, 20 minutes long. That consists of me sorting out the garden, Jim and bringing the plants round, and then what we did afterwards. We did a bit of pissing around in the garden, shooting air rifles and that. So I filmed that. Richard said. Who's or who'd have thought you simping over Belle Delphine would lead to a decent investment? I know, exactly, Rich. Don't you tell them things like that. He's a fibber. He's making things up about me again. <laughs> But yes, yeah, that $5 investment is potentially now $420. How's that for a percentage fucking upgrade? You right, drop radio, mate. Yes, Penny, how you doing? You're right. Said, uh, you didn't have nightmares about torture or twizzle keeping around, did you, Mike? Is that why you're in a bit of a bad mood? <laughs> no, luckily it wasn't. No, it wasn't that. Lucky now. Yeah. No, I didn't have no nightmares. No, it's all right, Rich. It makes me laugh. Yes, my investment, that's fucking hell. What kind of percentage upgrades that? It's a lot, though. Yeah. I'm bloody glad I am. Um, bloody glad I bought them now. Tart said, wasn't me showing you the ear cheese, was it? No, it wasn't. No, 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 no. No, it wasn't that. Nothing to do with you, my friend. It wasn't you. <laughs> Not her out, yeah. <laughs> She'll show me piercings. <laughs> Drop said, you can always start selling your farts and you, well, oh, I'll be honest with you, Drop. Sometimes my farts are so bad that I've been tempted to actually invent some kind of thing that I could fit to my ass because I reckon I could generally run a fucking heating system off my ass when it's that bad and Metallic will fucking vouch for that yes I, I probably could have run some kind of small machinery with my farts at some, you know sometimes <sighs> when there's a bit more on I'll show you what I've got can you tell it's in plain view what I got sent <laughs> Let's have a bit of coffee, shall we? Have a pilot light and stuff. Well, pretty much dropped. Yeah, that well, that would probably help. You could supply the gas for your own lighter, then. Yeah, there you go. We've just invented it. I'll sell a kit where you can supply your own gas to your own lighter, and you would never, ever. Have to buy gas ever again because you could just connect this thing, fill your fucking um, lighter up with your own farts. New jacket, yes. 
So I put it on. <sighs> Hang on. I put it on out of here. Iron Man, he said, would you rather have a headache that pills cannot help forever but be filthy rich or be poor and have great health and guaranteed to live to 100 and die peacefully? And you say, oh, I don't, I don't. That's very fucking tempting. Um, because to be honest, have a headache that pills can't cure for the rest of your life. I've pretty much my fucking life anyway. <laughs> Right, are you ready for this? Hopefully you can see me. It's actually body armour. <laughs> you flinched when you heard the fucking uh, thing go off, did you, Rich? Yes, this is actually body armour. I'm a farmer now. No, this is body armour. I think that's very hard to tell. It's probably one of the best things. Proper, proper covert body armor. Because very, very, um, very little um, body armor you can actually wear without people being able to tell, if that makes sense. Because you get covert body armor, but that has to go under a jacket or a jumper. Because this can actually be worn on top of things. And I have had people in real life look at it and think, well, they didn't know. They didn't know it had armor in it. Got a very unusual um, armor system in it that I've never seen before. I'll have to find out what it's. This is just stab protection. This one, um, I think it's stab protection. Uh, well, no, sorry, it's definitely one hundred percent stab um, resistant. Not one hundred percent, but it's okay. Let me rephrase that. It's stab resistant. I don't know if it's bullet resistant as well. I can't remember, but. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's really odd shit in it. This is what it has inside it. Yeah, so I'll do some testing. Yeah, so that's been sent to do a review on. Yeah, I really like it. I'll do a proper... I won't wear it all day, but yeah. Um, that's decent, though, isn't it? You can't really tell that body armour. <clears throat> And you could take the um, panels out. I was really happy with that. And as I said, you can actually properly wear it um, over your clothes. You know, this doesn't have to be hidden. It's an actual vest that can be worn over your clothes, essentially, but doesn't look like one. It's got proper pockets. The inside bit actually comes to there. So the zip is there. But you still have armor to there, so it overlaps. So you don't have a weak spot on the zip either. The actual armor goes to like there underneath, and then there. Um, oh, do you know what, I man? I don't know what it is. It does look Zed. It does look like a body warmer, doesn't it? And in real life, like on camera, it might. You ain't gonna see it that well anyway. But I'll tell you what. In real life, yeah, it just looks like a body warmer. You can't fucking tell. You cannot tell. It's got body armor in it. Um. Yeah, Iron Man, I'm not sure what this stuff is. It's hard, but where it's in little panels, it um, bends. So it does, you know, it goes around in your... Yeah. Oh, it's really good, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, it does, Dad. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what this material is. That is just cloth. So that is just a cloth. That's just what the bits are stuck onto. Um, but I have got some information sheets with it, but when I did the translation thing, you can't fucking hardly understand what they're fucking saying. You know what I mean? But yeah, no, I don't really know. I will, well, before I do the video though, I will actually find out. Yeah, it's even got, um, inside pocket. I don't know if it's got one in both sides. And you can take the panels out. Yeah, it's fucking decent, isn't it? And, and as I said, the best thing is it does actually look. Like a fucking um, jacket, doesn't it? It looks like a body warmer. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, I think for for wearability, that's probably one of the best jackets I've ever been sent or even owned now. Um, I doubt that's got the protection my 600 quid jacket's got, but <clears throat> um, as long as that is the grade of stand protection it says it is, it's as good as it claims to be, you know what I mean? But yeah, I need to look into... Um, it's definitely stab protection. I don't know if it's bullet resistant as well. I can't, I can't remember. Um, it, I'll be honest with you. Most bullet resistant things are thicker. Um, this doesn't feel like it would be bullet resistance to me. But yeah, it's, uh, I don't mean it's supposed to be. But they do They do a few things like that. A few, a few different jumpers and like hoodies that you can wear that's got the stuff in it. <clears throat> but yeah, sadly, I cannot tell you what that is. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, can you see the, there you go, that's a good picture of it, but this top bit is literally just cloth, it's not, that's not Kevlar, that is just the cloth that it's stuck to, yeah, uh, Cookie, myself, how you doing mate, um, yeah, anyone else who's John Mother, how you doing mate, you alright? <clears throat> So, yeah, there'll be a full review of it soon. I do like the fact that they sent me that, though, because I can show you it. And also, if I don't want to fuck that up, I can just fucking damage that, as, as you know, instead. <clears throat> Willie, how you doing, mate? Richard said, you see Shadowversity video moaning about his channel dying. I did post it on the Discord, but deleted it, as it was just me ranting about shit. <laughs> he said, no. no, I did read your thing, Rich, and I did agree with you. I was going to reply to you, but I never got around to it. But, yeah. Yeah, he's um, delusional is probably the right word, isn't it? Four by four fellas are decent. You're good, isn't it? I think they're they're reasonably expensive, um, but then the good ones always are reasonably expensive. I think it's about um, 300 quid, but <clears throat> for a decent stab protection vest that looks like that, that's probably worth 300 quid. <laughs> Myself said, good, a live stream that's sane to chill with. Yeah, they're definitely, mate, definitely. Mother said, did you see what I sent today? I think the hooligans learned from you. I did see that. Yes, I did click on that, mate. Yeah, sorry I didn't respond to that. I have a habit of clicking on things, watching them. I, I did watch that thing. I, did, I didn't watch all of the Shadowversity thing, but I went on it. I did read all of his message. I did watch your um, – I did go to your post about the hooligans at the football thing. <clears throat> um, yeah. Do I was supposed to say, try biting the plate. You should be able to tell. I'll tell you what I man. if rock hard, I'm not going to hurt my teeth. I've got bad enough teeth as it is. But yes, yeah, it's, it's very odd, whatever it is. But I don't, I don't look like plastic. I don't know. It's a weird sort of material. I don't know. I'll find out. Wait a couple, wait a couple of days. I'll let you know. Mother sir, what is it now with Shadowversity? <clears throat> then I Richard tell you. So I thought I saw someone on the floor then. <laughs> Myself said he's refining his craft, Willie. That's for sure. He has the views to show for it. Oh, Willie said recent, uh, good recent videos. Yeah, cheers, mate. Yeah, they're very popular, them ones. People do like the um, that subject just there. Self-defense. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know it was going to blow up like it did, but that latest, not the latest video, but the um, the first one of the series I put on got 70,000 views at the minute, I think. So, yeah, it's fucking decent, those, for just over a week and a half. But yeah, I will do a full test on these soon. I'll do knives, crossbows. I think the company that sells these actually do um, bow tests on them as well. And they have got some certificates from... Um, they've got certificates from different countries, um, what the level is. I think they said in America this would be NIJ1, but it's stab protection, so I don't know how that works. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that'll be coming up soon. And as I said, uh, Sunday will be the video of me doing the garden and when Jim came around. That was a good day, to be honest. I had a good laugh. Richard said to Zed, yeah. 
Nearly all the big channels have distanced themselves from him. I noticed in one of Todd's workshop videos on medieval archery. I think he was having a dig at Shad's takes. Um, yeah, I don't. I've never really followed him, but I know from you, Rich, and other people saying he's basically a bit mental, isn't he? Um, and yeah, uh, I ain't gonna say too much just in case, but yeah, makes himself look very fucking dodgy. In um, no, I won't say no more. <laughs> I'm, uh, oh, Iron Man, let me go back to your question. Um, so he said, where was it? Or did, I did you like it, Iron Man. Oh, no, I don't know. Maybe the poor one. If I live, definitely lift 100, maybe the poor one. Iron Man said, you need to buy or make some gauntlets. Your hands are very important. Gloves don't really offer much protection. Yeah, I'm well up for doing that, Iron Man. I've got a couple of, um, I think it was from, you know when you used to come on Twitch? Um, I think me and you spoke about it once then. And I've got some pictures that I downloaded off of some website um, for making like uh, leather and metal um, gauntlets and arm um, braces. Braces, is it braces they're called? Stuff like that. Um, and I'm sure that was for me and you talking about it. Yeah. Pretty leather is so fucking expensive. Decent leather, three mil leather, or even two mil leather is very expensive. But it's proper decent stuff. Um, I wouldn't mind doing some. But actually, I could probably do a full, a full gauntlet thing, possibly with leather with metal on it. Um, I don't know. There's multiple things you could do. And yeah, but that's a good point. Actually, he said, "Yeah, butcher's mail gloves are available. I might get myself a pair at some time." Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, well, but, yeah, builder's apron. Yeah, I'm not builds open, welders open. The only thing is, though, Iron Man, they're nowhere near as thick as you'd think they are. A lot of them, a lot of you buy any things like that, they're, they're about one mil thick or one and a half mil thick usually. I don't know. I don't know. But um, most of the ones I've looked into, because I thought, yeah, that would be a good, good thing for leather. But it's it's not it, – it is leather, but it's nowhere on the um, scale of, like, fucking um, three mil leather. You know what I mean? So I put him a guts going there. <clears throat> yeah, funny thing, my mum did get me an apron, leather apron for um, Christmas. Uh, oh shit! Have I just shut the? I, sorry, I thought I shut the stream yard down then. <clears throat> yeah, but you are right though, Iron Man. That is a good option for for leather. Depend, I suppose though. If you covered the whole thing in metal, but then if I was covering the whole thing in metal, I probably wouldn't need the leather in the first place. Um, yeah, but yeah, they're all good options, Iron Man. Yeah, leather, sofas as well. Richard said, yeah, nearly every extreme right-wing opinion take he probably agrees with uh, is the most polite way to describe it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, double it up, exactly. And for how you doing, mate? He's uh, been out drinking, nice. Nice one. I'm staying sober this weekend. Um, yeah, coffee for me. Coffee and water for me today. Yeah, double it up, I man. I have done stuff like stuff like that with sofa um, level before. What I did for some things, I've got um, sofa leather, denim, and then sofa leather and glued sandwich those together. And that made quite a nice um, thing. The only problem with that stuff it's, it's good, but you can never get a decent edge on it. But then, you know, it depends what you're doing. It really just depends what you're doing. But, yeah, it's definitely an option and a cheap, a, a hell of a lot cheaper. It, that would cost you a fraction of buying um, free meal leather. Anyway, you know what I mean? Lugo, hey, dear, mate. Yes, here and Aiden Walker stick collector. Fuck's sake. That is me. That is me. Oh, I've only got one. I've only got one here and Ed. I am after another one. <laughs> but yeah, I'll let you know what that is. <clears throat> I did a translation on, so there was documents with it, <clears throat> but um, it translated it into some weird pigeon English shit. Let me see if I can see the pictures quickly. Hang on. Um, 
Oh, no, that's the wrong fucking folder. Let me just look a minute. And I'll see if I can... <sighs> I'll read you a bit and, and then you'll know why I can't understand it. <clears throat> so... Dear customer, thank you for using the high armor protection brand, flexible stab proof clothing and safety protection products. Okay. Flexible anti-stab clothing, a full range of safety protection. Um, Yeah, it doesn't say what it's made of. Maybe they they might not tell you, but this is the real, this is like the little bit that's really, this fucking bit's really confusing when you read it. There is no absolute spear and no absolute shield. So there is no absolute anti-stab. That is the relative energy level. The higher the energy level, the higher the level of protection required. The energy level of a bayonet on a battlefield is very different to the energy level of an everyday fruit knife. High armor protection brand, flexible anti-stab clothing, all safety protection products in line with GJ. 2019 corporate standards can effectively resist daily conventional knives such as a fruit knife, utility knife, scissors, kitchen knife, axe, and full stop, the common 95 army thorn can stab, chop, cut without causing fatal injuries. So some of it makes no fucking sense, <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure <clears throat> it doesn't actually say what's made of. So, well, I don't know. <clears throat> I'll ask them. They may want to keep it a secret, though, because I've never seen this stuff before. And a lot of them don't really want to say what they make them out of to stop other people nicking the idea. But they have got proper certificates from different... I've seen a certificate from America, from Germany. Um, Yeah, maybe I could give them a certificate. I'll give them a fucking shit certificate. Um, Not saying they're shit, but, you know, because of... Shit. And first of all, I feel like I'm the one who did it. <laughs> all right. There you go, man. This one's just for you. I'm the one who did it. I'm the one who did it. I'm the one who did it. I'm the one that did it. I'm the one that did it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I still need to add Melanie's to that. Dad said, part one, if you had an old leather coat, you could use that. Put the leather in the washing machine on a hot cycle. When it's done, shape it over a form of some kind to shape your arm and, sh- and it will shrink and get thicker as it dries. Once it dries, it'll be hard to work. Oh, no, yeah, I'll have to try that then. Yeah. Yeah, a coat sleeve would be good. Yeah, exactly. Iron Man said, you know that flexible tough steel that handsaw blades are made of? I think that would be hard to penetrate. Yes. Well, Iron Man. <clears throat> the, um, <clears throat> sorry, I've got fucking phlegmy throat now. One of the um, one of the body armors I got, I think it was the sixteen quid one I got from um, eBay, was like that. Small bits of um, rectangular metal that was like that sort of semi semi sort of flexible sort of tough steel. Might have been. What did they say it was? It wasn't tungsten. It wasn't zinc. What was it? I can't remember. Do I suppose it's actually might try piercing a wood saw blade with a full size cost? I bet it wouldn't touch it. I, I, I would I'd actually bet money it wouldn't fucking touch it, Iron Man. I doubt it. I'd even dent it. You're right. Uh, I doubt I'd even dent it personally. Yeah. You don't know though. Yeah, we'll have to see. What well, that one up there? Yeah. There goes a topic of discussion. Acceptable levels of violence when you catch a burglar in your hand. Well, that depends. It depends, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But how it said, it depends on the jury. It depends what they're doing. Um, yeah. I suppose that would be what the saws are. Wouldn't it? I can't remember what they said it was dropped. It definitely wants spring steel, though. It was somewhat weird. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's what saw blades would be, wouldn't it? But yeah, it really depends on... It also depends on what they come in to your house with. So it's very, it's all different variables, really. That's the thing. It really just comes on to the situation, you know, the, the, the situation that happens. Um, 
Yeah. No, no, sir. No suicide warning tonight because I haven't played that bloody clip yet and I might not bother tonight. See what happens. You're all right, tactical, by the way. I reckon it's the fucking cream for cut cuisine fucking thing. <clears throat> it's 10 o'clock already. I didn't realize that. Four by four, Fudge Lugo. Do what's needed. Do in then act apologetic. And you, had, uh, and you had to do it. Oh, exactly. That all helps. Yeah. Yeah. Fearing for your life, acted instinctually, you know. Didn't even realise you was doing it until it until you'd done it and but you was, you know, terrified for your life. Blah 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 blah. But you know, it depends, doesn't it? <clears throat> it all depends on a lot of fucking variables, really. <clears throat> so I said, like when I walloped you around the head. Well, yeah, oh, instinctual. Yes, yes, exactly, my queen. Yes. I now know never to go down on one knee in front of my queen unless I want to get a whack around the head. I got away with it once, though, didn't I? It's because I did it in public. <laughs> I know when to choose. That uh, was probably revenge. That was probably revenge, really, my queen, of getting you back for whacking me around the head that time. So I chose to do it in public where she couldn't hit me. <laughs> Rita said it was an it was accidental cricket bat, just swung at his skull 18 times. Again, it does I know Rita's joking there, but that's the thing, yeah. If someone came into your own <clears throat> and you gave them one good whack with something, you'd probably be all right. But yeah, if you knocked him out on the floor and then kept hitting him in the face and, you know, and started working their body and then, you know, gave him like 20 whacks in the bollocks and <laughs> he was probably going to go to prison. There's a two burglars in your home. More license for you to go uh, radio rent. Well, exactly, Lugo. But yeah, it's all, um, it all comes down to the circumstances, really. Uh, yeah. And potentially other things like what you look like. John, how you doing, mate? You're all, I ain't too bad. I ain't too bad. I was in a bit of a bad mood. I am in a there's a there's a low simmering bad mood going on in me that could come out quite easily. But <laughs> other than that, no, I'm all right. I'm all right. <clears throat> Not yeah, exactly, John. It's all about reasonable force, exactly. Yeah. Dad said, I suppose you could drag them up the stairs and let them actually fall down the stairs. That's quite a good one, actually, Dad. I like that, yes. Yes. I gave them one punch and they fell down the stairs. <laughs> Don't know they came out brandy full. Good for you, mate. Good for you. I'm staying. I'm, I've got a nice bit of coffee in me. That, that'll keep me happy for a bit. <laughs> I have heard of burglar traps. I wouldn't fuck about shit like that in my house, though. Not in this country. They tripped and fell up the stairs. Yeah, exactly, Rich. Exactly. Oh, God. <clears throat> yeah, there'll be a video on on Sunday of what me and Jim got up to. That should be quite good. It's about 20 minutes long, but I think it's the kind of video... That people would be sort of happy to sit and just watch anyway. You know what I mean? Um, put me and him pissing around in the garden. <laughs> that the easiest way to scare burger. All looking his fuck toy. He's out of here. <laughs> Fucking hell. That would probably work. Well, you know what though? Some some people it might not. And <laughs> then you may be regretting that. Oh god. Stop taking their clothes off. Backing up to you. John said, my take on Home Invader has only know what happened before you knock him out. He only knows what happened before you... Oh, yeah, I get you. Yeah, it was scary. Uh, Liverpool drummer. How you doing, mate? You are right? Not too bad. Dad said, you see, I'm kind of lucky. I'm just a helpless old dodderer. <laughs> I've been feeling my life. Exactly, exactly. That's it, Zed. <laughs> Fucking hell. 
Metallic said, I'm, uh, Metallic said, I'm pretty sure if you warn people in advance, uh, they do it at their own risk. My home is booby trapped. Breaking it, uh, risk your life. Then if they choose suicide, that's on them. Well, yeah, I suppose, I suppose. No, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what that would be like with the law, so. I don't know if you're allowed to booby trap your house, are you? I don't know. John said, I like to scream, I have a gun, and I'm trigger happy. Well, that would work. That would work. Richard said, I thought everyone just super glues them to a wheelchair naked. <laughs> Uh, walk in front of them in the bathrobe, telling them to hold the red dragon. Oh, fuck's sake. Four by four fellas said, fun thing, to, fun thing for you from my college days. I did public service, <clears throat> and then um, on a year of forensics, there was a burglar who robbed 20-odd houses, and he used to shit in the kettles of the houses he robbed. Yeah, that's a strange thing with... I don't know why... People do that, but I know that it's I know that's a thing. Um, the, yeah, I, I, not the shitting in a kettle, but yeah, that's fucking hilarious. But it's not it's fucking horrible. But um, yeah, I've known people to um, yeah, is there a name for the shitting thing? I've known people break into houses and leave a shit there. Uh, um, fucking little fuckers, that's a very odd thing to do. Also, you're leaving fucking evidence behind. When I was in that fucking Young Offenders for a bit, um, my decent cellmate, the one who wasn't a fucking complete dimwit, um, <laughs> got Revillius eating it, innit? Um, the second cellmate I had was, um, he was a prolific burglar due to being a heroin addict. And um, he'd fucking been doing so many burglaries, they just came in and said, right, when well, you've got about fucking 300 burglaries here, fucking tick off which ones you reckon you did, and we'll put that all in the same thing, and you'll get a lesser sentence. And he did. He just he was just fucking ticking them off, fucking hundreds of these fucking burglaries. He didn't used to shit in things, though. <coughs> well, by four, fellas. So when the police go round, the old people offer them a cup of tea. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Amber Herding, yes, fuck's sake. And Phil said, well, that's what we um, that's what we think in the US. Come in and see, yes. John said, although I think that relates to it. Yeah, coprophilia is eating it, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what leaving a shit as a calling card is. Yeah, it seems to have to leave a log of DNA. Exactly, um, drop. that was what I thought. That was what I thought. Yeah, good old Amber Turd. Did we watch her in a film recently, Metallic? I know we watched her in The Stand, didn't she? Didn't we? Um, I feel like we've watched her in another thing, though. Oh, I can't remember what it was. Yeah, definitely watched her in The Stand. But I had a feeling there was something else. Don't know. <laughs> Liverpool Jam said, I need help erecting a statue of myself in my local area. Why is that? Why is that? Are you famous or infamous? Um, I, thought, I don't think I have watched The Killer yet, Zed. No, I've not knowingly seen it. Hang on, Zed. Who's in that and what's it on? Oh, yes, I have watched that. Yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah, yeah, I watched that ages ago, Zed. Yes, I quite like that, yeah. Um, I I'm sure I fucking mentioned it when I watched it. Yeah, no, I did. I watched it ages ago, Zed. Yeah, I must have... I, maybe you weren't on that night or something, but I definitely did... Um, I definitely did uh, watch it, um, and I definitely did talk about it. <clears throat> so, yeah... I said it was good, wasn't it? Now, you might have to remind me of some of your favourite bits. It was good. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I quite enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was good. I haven't watched In Bruges yet. That's still up there. But yeah, The Killer, I quite enjoyed it. Yeah, it's good. <clears throat> Where am I? 
Did you watch it recently, Zed, or or did you watch it ages ago? Yeah, no, I watched it a couple of months ago. Not played Left for Dead. The drop said they put it. They put T out a documentary. Hang on, what did they put out as a documentary? M. Frewer said they asked, "What would I get if I broke into your house?" Shot is what I said. <laughs> Zed said, best bit is when he visits the fellow in the penthouse and scared the shit out of him. Yes. Oh, at the end. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, that was, it was It was a good film, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, because he didn't actually even need to do anything in that bit, did he? It was just... Um, oh, I dropped... I actually watched a lot of the original fucking um, trial when it was actually being fucking shown. Not because... I don't really have any interest in either of them. It was just because it was a fucking... You don't see that kind of shit very often. You don't very, very rarely. Well, you don't. You never used to even see fucking court cases. You know what I mean? Over here, it's not allowed. Um, they, every now and then they might put, they might, special occasion, you know, not special occasion, but special fucking things. They might have um, cameras in. Um, yeah, it was a circus. Exactly dropped. So I watched it for that. And so I knew a lot of it anyway. Um, yeah, I watched it while it was actually happening. And then. Um, me and Metallic watched a documentary. We watched that documentary because uh, Metallic didn't know nothing about it. Yeah. His actual said, yeah, you never got stuff like on that Crown Court. No, you no, you don't, do you? Yeah, I, yes. And it even got to the point, um, uh, drops, that I even started some, uh, I started some merchandise. So if you, if you are a bit of a fan of um, Johnny Depp, Hang on, give me a couple of seconds here. You can go onto my merchandise and get yourself. Put a link on. As Pete has just pointed out, a Mega Pint. And then there's Mega Pint, the other model. So if you would like to support me and Johnny Depp, go and get yourself a, uh, <laughs> a Mega Pint glass. Yes, they're in the link there. Yeah, I even tried to, um, what do you call it? I can't think of the word. A cash in, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I reckon what happened, Ed, maybe you weren't on, or maybe the night that I did it, maybe maybe when I spoke about it, it was after. No, because I would have spoken about a normal one. Yeah, um... Well, unless maybe I spoke to Metallic about it and I forgot to mention it on here. Um, yeah. <clears throat> right. Just so everyone knows, I'm trying to lose weight at the minute. All right. So I would appreciate if people don't talk about food, which we refer to as forbiddens after ten thirty. So you have got twelve minutes. All right. I will warn you if you do do it, you. Regulars will get a 24 hour um, timeout, which I'll actually implement next week. So you can't come on on Friday. Um, that'll be regulars, and everyone else just be blocked. Drop <coughs> uh, said a mega pint is what you piss the morning after booze up. <laughs> oh, and also, though, don't start doing it now deliberately because it'll just irritate me. <clears throat> Because it just proves you're doing it on purpose. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't um, I wouldn't bother. <clears throat> Trust me. Because I've already I've already told you I'm in a bad mood anyway. <sighs> uh drops in a mega point is what you piss in the morning after you boot. Yes, exactly. Exactly right. Now you're all good, Dylan. It's just I know people do do it on purpose. And it, it has started to irritate the fuck out of me now. To, to the degree that I come on live streams, I'm, I'm already pissed off before I even start them because of what people have been doing. And that's regulars as well. That's the, the real, real fucking massive pity about it is there are fucking regulars who I've known for fucking years doing it now. And that is why you'll start, you'll start getting timed out. So if you do it tonight, I'll just time you out Friday for 24 hours and then you miss out on the live streams. You know I mean? So it's up to you lot. Because <clears throat> I don't mind the regular still chatting on videos, but if they're making, if they're annoying me on my live streams and annoying me in my real life, 
that'll be it. I'll just keep I'll just keep timing you out on live streams and you won't be able to talk. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but you won't be blocked. <sighs> but yeah, because it is, it is a fact in my health now. So you know what I mean. <clears throat> but I'm just you know you know now. Where are we? Richard said, you mentioned you were in a <laughs> last week. It's been building. Well, it has, Richard. This is the thing. It, it's becoming a thing now. It's becoming a long-running thing. And it started to irritate me before I even live stream now. And then people ask you, you know, what people don't realise, especially when regulars are doing it, you are now making the, not you, Rich, but people are now making the live streams fucking shit. Because you now have to listen to me moaning all the fucking time. <laughs> so, you know. You lot need to sort your fucking shit out. <laughs> oh, but tactical, yes. That is actually some body armor. It's fucking good as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let me go and get it. Yeah, uh, that's body armor, tactical. Proper, I'd say proper covert body armor that you can... Um, wear outside your clothes and it doesn't look like um body armor <clears throat> so yeah it's fucking decent i'll tell you i need to lose a little bit of weight to get it on quickly though <laughs> it's a little bit tight Yeah, you can't fucking tell it's body armor. Look at that. Literally looks like a body warmer. Yeah, yeah look at it, tactical. Weird stuff in it as well. I don't know what the actual material is, but that is what is in it. That's weird sort of yeah no strange isn't it yeah good good isn't it yeah i wore it downstairs earlier and um they couldn't even tell it was uh body armor <clears throat> then i said i ordered the edc knife of timu but <laughs> bbc toy game of stad fuck's sake what about four fellas they make good motorcycle overcoats with a nice Club pattern. Yeah, would, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Would. Richard said, talking of weight, I'm cutting back now. I started getting 17 stone five. Are you and that's that what you are now, or that's what you're going down to? Yeah, no tactical. Oh, it's fucking good, isn't it? It's very rare to actually have proper um covert body arm that you can wear over your clothes. Because normally it's um If you have if you have it over your clothes, you can see it's body armor, or it's got to be under, isn't it? Um, yeah. <sighs> Just gonna read some of the comments. Um, Sparker. <laughs> All right. I'll let you off. I'm not gonna read that out though, but yeah. <laughs> Just about to say hello to him, and then I realized what you read. Yeah, Paul uh drama said, Good to see you're still doing videos, man. Used to watch when I was younger. All oh, right, yeah, nice one. Nice one. That's good. That's good. Yeah, now I still do plenty of videos and do the live streams on a weekend. <clears throat> Dad said the weather's been getting better, so I started hitting silence to lose a bit more weight. Oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Dylan said, Where can I get an S10 working gas mask? Well, do you know um, Weapons and Stuff 93? He's probably your man for um, <sighs> gas mask. Sorry, I couldn't even think what I was saying. Oh, Richard said, I'm at 17 stone free now, but want to get back to 16 stone. Yeah, oh, I hope you do, Rich, because, you know, I know what that's like. Matat said, I hope it works. Oh, what the vest you mean? Yeah, yeah, weird stuff, isn't it? Very weird stuff. I'll test it soon, but yeah. All right, Dylan, hang on, mate. Was it you asking about the S10? 
Um, he would definitely be able to tell you all about S10s, 100%. Uh, if you don't know about... Surely you must know weapons and stuff, 93. Surely. <clears throat> That's a Richard. We all need a motivational channel on Discord where we get support. Well, we'll all put on the old gym bit, can't we? Nigga said, I am too overweight. Maybe it would have a burglar shit in the cow. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, maybe. Maybe so. I was a bit worried when they sent me this because, um, I thought, ah, shit, I'm, um, I don't want to, because I didn't want to test, I, I need to test it, but I sort of didn't want to, because I assumed that the panels was like, sewn into the vest, if that makes sense, but luckily they're not, so this has got, um, it has got inside pocket as well, so you can properly wear it, which is fucking decent, but it's also got, you can access the panels. Take them out if you want. So I'll tell you what else that means you could probably do. So it's got a zip here where you can access the panels. I don't really need to open that one. Um, you could probably upgrade these if you want to. But yeah, I'll just explain quickly. The reason, the reason for the fucking weight loss, fucking obvious to be honest, but it is making me fucking ill now. And the problem is, as soon as people mention food late at night, it gets into my fucking head and then I start wanting to eat late at night because I have really shit fucking willpower when it comes to food, especially late at night when I'm fucking hungry. So, you know, as I said, if you lot, you know, if you lot like me, fucking support me and don't keep trying to make it worse because it is genuinely fucking, you are starting to fuck up the live streams now. <clears throat> But yeah, that's what it's. I need to, it's making me ill. I'm starting to actually get ill from being overweight now, and I need the help to try and sort it out because <clears throat> it ain't fucking easy. You know I mean? And I don't want to keep sitting here going about. The problem is every fucking night I'm having to do this now because of bell ends and literally no support from anyone. Every fucking every single time I live stream now, it's the same fucking shit, and it fucking must bore you lot to death because it fucking bores me to death. But I have to keep doing it. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Yeah, but it'd be nice, you know. Well, fucking, I like you lot, but you know, apparently, you most of you lot think I'm some kind of fucking dickhead. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> that was honestly, from what I can see, you could wear that down the pub. I think so. Yeah, I think so. It's it's one of the first sort of um. There are companies that do them. It's, it's quite expensive, about 300 quid. But 300 quid, um, I think for something like that, that you can't even fucking tell. It's good, isn't it? Um, yeah. Richard said, thinking of doing some horse riding videos on just on Discord. Just need to find an old helmet. I don't mind drilling, uh, drilling a hole and adding a go. Yeah, that'd be decent, Rich. That'd be decent. I would ask you one thing, though, and this, this isn't a fetish thing or anything. But before you do the horse riding, could you do the same thing on the I Joy ride first? Just for my own little indulgences here. I'm <laughs> joking. Oh, God. Pete said, Mike's going to look cool as fuck this summer. I am. I am, Pete. Sexy as fuck as well. <laughs> Jump said, We know you're some kind of dickhead. That's why we're here. Just happens that we like your time. Exactly. Yeah, I don't deny that, Jock. But yes, thank you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Liverpool uh, drummer. He said, my brother has a good collection, mate, but yours is far superior. Thank you. I would, I'd like to show all my stuff. I would like to show all my stuff. But um, I've got stuff in that box there. I've got a box under here. I've got a bloody box over there. Not there, but next to the bin. Stuff under my fucking sofa. Stuff in the loft. Stuff behind the sofa. Yeah, I do want to do a sword display. Um, I've got quite a few swords now. 
a few over there, but I ain't really got anywhere to put them. Um, well, I've got a big bit of wood, though, that I could put a display there, but if it's there, no one's going to see it. Well, before I said, be nice. Yeah, yeah, want you happy and healthy. Yeah, lucky um, lucky you have good span. Well, fact, yeah, exactly, 4 by 4 That's it. That's it. You know, the better mood I'm in, the better the fucking live stream is. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just it's starting to... It's every fucking weekend now. And I, I get in the mood before I even start live streaming. It's a shame. Oh, well, that's quite a few. Well, no, I don't know. I don't know. When did I make them last? <laughs> yes. Our queen has a lot of fucking swords. Yes. Fuck's sake. Rich said, lol. Mike, if I have a TV in the gym, I could have a horse riding simulator where I'm on the I Joy ride. I probably sounded really weird. Probably, people probably didn't even know what the fucking um I the I Joy ride thing, by the way, that I was asking Richard to go on, was it's a, like a horse riding practice thing. But I've always found the name of it hilarious. Who would call a horse riding practice thing I Joy ride? Very fucking suspect. Oh, by the way, I hope you're all liking the fucking stream. And I'm not. Shaking, I'm all right. <laughs> uh, the rat population, as far as I'm aware, is exactly the same as it was, but I haven't seen them about and they haven't been destroying all the stuff. <laughs> That's Pete, it does. It sounds like a fucking deal to about them. It 100% does, doesn't it? That's why I find it hilarious. Dylan said, What's the cheapest AK? Come on, do the app model you've got. I don't know now, but. You used to be able to get. I don't know what an AK forty seven commando is though. Is that, is that a type of AK forty <coughs> seven? But um, AK forty sevens you used to be able to get for about one hundred and thirty quid. Um. Yeah, let me have a quick look for you. Yeah, they used to be cheap. That's for oh, the one with folding stock, is it? Um, I have a couple. I'll have a look on a couple of sites. To tell you, the one that I used to buy stuff from um, stopped selling them. Sadly, well, they they shut down completely. It was really fucking good site that was. Yeah, six hundred and fifty quid. Fuck that shit. Two hundred quid, but that's an American website. No, Gunstar.co.uk, AK forty-seven with a folding stock. Um, Two hundred quid. Ah, oh, back. Yeah, jolly ride. It does. Richard, it looks like a sex toy. People will shag on it. Fucking does. Um, M. Graves said, "Does UK allow bud?" K I'm not sure. Um, I. I doubt it, but I don't know. The thing is, if you're buying something, um, that's totally that's perfectly legal, then there's nothing stopping you getting it. Uh, Zed said, by the way, Mike, will we be at home for your birthday or will we be at my I'm going to be at home for my actual birthday, and then about two or three days later, I'm going to go around Metallics. So, yeah, so I think some at like. First or second of May, I think we said, didn't we? Metallic, I'm going to come around yours, isn't I? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be around mine. I will be around mine on my actual birthday, though. Yeah. Do I nearly miss that? Richard, pe these people, though, I was bitching when I said I owned one. Then the next day, I had to upload a public video of me riding it. <laughs> Says, I just wanted to know. I want to send you something. Cheers, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'll be at home for Martin. I'll be at home for the actual birthday. And a couple of days later, I'm going to go around Metallics. I was talking of a late birthday. When is mine? Mine is actually on a Monday. So, so, but, so, yeah, so everyone knows now, I will 100% have a birthday drunk live stream, probably on the Saturday. But, um, I'm fucking tempted, you know, to do a fucking Spiraverse live stream on the Friday the night before. 
Is that that wouldn't be too much, would it? Because I know we like nah. Because I, 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 the problem is I don't. When we do the spirograph stuff, I like to make a proper night of it and have a drink afterwards, you know, and have a really good night. But um, if I do that on my birthday, I'd be doing too many things at once. When so maybe, maybe I'll um. I don't think anyone's in a rush for the spirograph stuff, are they? I'll either do it a little bit. No, I won't be able to. I'll think about it, but basically put it this way. Spyro Files episode five and all of the new shit. So the new book will be coming out soon. I'll publish that soon, Zed. It, it may be in like next week or something. I'll, I'll let you know when I do that and we'll do all the checks and all that shit. Um, so the new book will be coming soon. I'm going to do a load of other clips and I've had a load of ideas for new stuff as well, which I'm quite looking forward to doing. I just need a couple of weeks for people to get their... Um, press conference footage or audio in you've got time um so yeah i might now maybe i'll do the spyverse special potentially when i'm around metallics or when i get home yeah now i might cut it tomorrow metallic i know i was going to cut it today and i never got around to it. i think that's the thing i've been meaning to do today and i forgot metallic said haven't you got to wait a couple of weeks before you can film the last bit now you've cut your hair. Yeah, didn't even realise. Is that how much you've looked at me today? You didn't even know I hadn't cut my hair. She's been on fucking camera talking to me today. She didn't even fucking notice. I know she cut your hair though. I noticed that as soon as I came on. As soon as I came on, I complimented on her new haircut. But me, she didn't notice I hadn't cut my hair. <laughs> that was her to metallic. My mic keeps buzzing on PC. We'd be able to. Would I be able to send my reporter audio to WhatsApp? Oh, yeah, yeah, do that. Well, yeah, it's up to her, isn't it? But, yeah. Metallic said, lol, I think I was so traumatised by my own hair, Mike. I can ask what it was. Yeah, I suppose if Metallic's up for it, you, you could always send it her, and then she could forward it to me. Yeah, that'd be good, Tactical. Andy said, Dylan... Why do you want a deactivated gun? Because that's what we clapped over here. Can't have a real AK over here, so we have a deact. <laughs> that's I'm asking the boss, Mike, not the monkey. <laughs> that's so <I'm> <laughs> oh, I've got a fucking calendar on still. Let me get that way. Yeah, so my birthday is on a Monday. So I'll probably have a drink. Saturday the 27th. Ah, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, there's so much shit I need to do. Hmm. I'm waiting for a lot of... Waiting for a lot of things that I need to be done as well before I can decide on certain things. Because I'm going to need to buy a ticket. Well, a ticket to go and see Metallic. Or, or not. But now I don't know. Um, fucking nightmare. Oh, well. mm. Yes, Rich, you do. You make sure you do the I Joy ride first. We want to see you on the I Joy ride first. Oh, the eclipse tomorrow, Penny, is it? Nice. What time? I didn't even know. What's going to happen anyway? As in, is, is something else going to happen? No, that's that's, that's not get on the fucking conspiracy things. <laughs> oh, God. Dad said, a girl once asked me why I hadn't mentioned her new hairstyle. I said, I didn't want to be rude, was my reply. I made her paranoid for a week, it did. Fuck's sake. Uh, I'll be honest with you, what really happened was I went on camera with Metallic and I kept looking at her thinking, why does she look different? I only had to think that for about two seconds before she actually told me uh, <laughs> what was different anyway. And I thought, oh yeah, I thought you looked different. <laughs> Richard said, that's nice, you'd rather spend your birthday without your queen. You <laughs> don't you fucking start, Rich. No, I'm having two birthdays. I'm going to spend, like Metallic that year, who had four birthdays out of us lot. I'm going to have 
my birthday round here, and then I'm going to have a second birthday round hers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I pissed off round hers last year <laughs> for my birthday. Can't I be a bit nicer to my family, Richard? No, I'm going to have a second birthday. Don't even worry about that. <clears throat> oh, Penny, I will let you know tomorrow, 100%. So tomorrow is my deadline. You will know tomorrow. It's been a bit of a weird, stressful day for me today. You will know tomorrow, 100%. Oh, and guess what? Penny knows this. So when I went off last night, Penny sent me a link to a VHS copy of um, Twice Under, a film I've been looking for for about 20 years, and I just watched it about 35 years ago, right? I, um, so I thought, fuck it. I might as well change the way I search for it. Because often I search for these things with the same thing. I thought, no, I'm going to change how I write it a bit and see what comes up. I fucking did that, and it came up straight away on YouTube. It's been, it was uploaded a year ago. So it's fucking on there. I downloaded it last night. I did start watching it, though, but I was so fucking tired. I um, had to go to bed. But I'm going to watch it again and like, watch it properly tomorrow, I think. That's it. I was watching a film that was so boring I trimmed my fringe. I then had to straighten it up, so I ended up with a very short fringe, and good news is the film did improve. <laughs> Dad said, don't act surprised. You know me for a while. There's been plenty of clues. That's it. Ah, Rich. Yeah, us rolls get many birthdays as we like. Exactly, Rich. I'm having two this year. You know, you, maybe you could count it as three. I'll have one birthday with you lot, one birthday with my family, one birthday with my queen. Carl said, got any in... Oh, you got some indoor cameras today. What, like the um, the ones you can control with the internet? Where, like nanny cam type things, do you mean? Yeah, they're quite good. I've got one of them as my security cameras outside. Um, that has been out there. That's not supposed to be outside. I've had a, a, a indoor nanny cam outside under a porch. Fucking hell, how long has that been out there? That's been out there for like five years, I think. And that's you know, and the funny thing is that fucking memory card on that still ain't full. But I think what it does, I think it records because it records on motion detection. But I think what it does is as it goes through, it starts to delete the other ones. But it's got so much memory on there that it gets about two years worth of footage before it starts deleting the beginning ones. Yeah, it's fucking decent. I suppose it still works to be honest. Been out there for a long. Yeah, Wi-Fi. That's it. Yeah, the Wi-Fi cams that you can move. Yeah. Yeah, Wi-Fi cams, you can set recording time. Like cats and ghosts. Yeah, why not, mate? Why not? Well, if you fucking do, Carl, if you do, <laughs> and I mean this, um, if you catch absolutely anything that you think is a ghost, keep the footage, and then for Halloween, send me it in, and I'll use it for my Halloween video. All right? But, yeah, Penny, I promise you 100%. I was thinking about it earlier. You will get your answer tomorrow. Sunday is my deadline. You will get it. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> that sounds wrong, but yeah. You'll get it tomorrow, Penny. I, I promise you. I will not let you down. If anyone's got any, if anyone gets any ghost footage, save it for Halloween. Even if you put it on your own channel, if you do videos yourself, let me use it for Halloween. Because I always do a Halloween themed um, video. I get everyone else to join in. You can tell me ghost stories, stuff like that. Um, anything. It wouldn't be a made up ghost story, but yeah, or make videos for it. And he said, don't need a camera to get a get a dog. Get a dog. Dogs can see ghosts. <laughs> Something that is about. Yeah, dogs seem do seem to sort of sense weird shit. Tactical said, what's Penny? Get her answer tomorrow. <laughs> Did she go down on one knee? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Penny wants to know what I want for my birthday. So I said I'll tell her tomorrow. I, it's, it's difficult for me to think of something. Yeah, I need to research my other birthday present as well. That, I'll get on with that as well soon, Vitaly. See you in a minute, Peach. What about that little good luck kiss? Oh, no. No, not on the cheeks. On the lips. I mean, what are you, homophobic? <laughs> yeah, exactly like me. Uh, Carl, Carl said, strange stuff happens to me all the time. I feel like I'm uh, in Big Brother with all these cameras. 
<laughs> Fanny said, I'd kneel to no man. No, exactly. She doesn't. She doesn't. Um, yeah, I've got, as I said, I've got one outside. And that's got the um, sort of night vision on it. Good camera. And for us, we have something strange around here. Do you do any videos then for or anything or get any footage, pictures? <clears throat> yeah, that um twice under is quite funny. Um I don't mean it's supposed to be funny, but um the beginning of the film, the killer is in a sewer with uh night vision, and these sewer workers go down there and he kills one of them with a fucking pistol crossbow. I fucking burst out laughing. Um <laughs> And then he put a fucking rat skull on one of them. And I thought, I sent, I sent Metallica a message saying, this is weirdly relevant to me and you. It was. Uh, Richard said, I always feel like someone's watching me. And I have no privacy. <laughs> oh, God. Which fucking song is that? Is that the Ghostbusters one? No, it enters it. It is literally somebody's watching me, isn't it? Uh, Cookie said, what do you think of tactical helmets and face masks, like pre what prepper shops are? I don't know. Well, when I, I went to a uh, military shop the other day, um, I have got a, a couple of military helmets up in the loft, um, tactical helmets. I don't know. It depends how – depends what you want them for. Um and what kind of protection they've got. If I'm wearing a helmet, I want it to be able to stop a fucking bullet. You know what I mean? Or shrapnel. Or, you know, I want it to properly protect me. Um, with the face masks, I don't know how good they are. Yeah, I've never had one. Um, yeah. You know, I don't sing, Rich. So my, my three weak points in life are accents, singing, and the, my lack of welding. <laughs> Oh. Penny said, Penny is the Queen's Knight. Mike is incidental. Dropped gets plenty uh, of fun. Uh, be creative with your positioning, Zed. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> uh, Carl said, My cat. Tipsy says, Well, well hello to your cat, mate. Then Andy says, Aliens are. Creators of life, there's no gods. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could believe that more than the religious bit of it. Totally. <clears throat> I've got you to sing it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you that said got to sing it. You pretty much did it. Yes, yeah. as good as you'll ever hear me sing. Put it that way. Uh, Cookie said, yeah, I think they're for airsoft. Not sure how they would stand up to real-world situations. Yeah, without it being old up to, like, real real situations, I don't think I'd bother. I don't know that. You know, there's nothing wrong with them. And they'll probably give you some protection, especially sort of the airsoft stuff. But, yeah, I don't know. If, if, I, if I'm going to have an helmet, I want it to be able to stop a fucking... Um, I want it to stop a bullet. I mean... Mark, you're right, mate. He said, I've got two gas masks. The only thing is the filters have a short um, shelf life. Yeah, you can get it's, – it's good to get um, unsealed um, – unsealed uh, filters. I've got a box down there that I can't even remember what's in it that Liam gave me. Shall I get it out and see what he sent me? This is – he bought it around. This was ages ago when he brought this. It's been stuck under here for so long. <laughs> Lucky bastard. This has been down there so long, I can't even remember what's in it anymore. But this is all gas mask related stuff. So let's see what we've got, shall we? <coughs> this is Liam. Liam's protecting me in the um what do you call it? In the apocalypse. So I've got 
1983 <laughs> set of NBC trousers. 1983, that said down there. There is the 1983 smock. So I am protected in a in the nuclear fallout. There's an unsealed filter there. I've got some other. These are older ones. These have probably been, you know, they have been opened, but you know, they'll probably still work for a bit. That's the fucking um, M62A1 filter. Yeah, so most of these filters are near and new. I've I have got new filters. Um, now what I've got in here is which one's which? We've got this old gas mask. I, I can't. I don't ask me what these are. I ain't got a fucking clue. I don't know if this will even fucking fit my fucking head. That's fucking nicely sealed up, I'll tell you, though. Well, I've got other gas masks. I've got, these are just the ones that are in here that Liam gave me for... Um, these were for family members. Look at this little fucker. That's a little child's gas mask. But at least one of the kids will be protected. They'll have to take it in turns wearing that one. So, yeah, that's some stuff that Liam gave me um, a couple of years ago. Liam is Weapons and Stuff 93. Um, but I've got, so there's the two gas masks there. I've got my M62 V1, I think it's called. That's a good one. And I've got a fucking Spaziani gas mask, which is like a proper decent one. And I've got new filters. That's an, un, that's an unopened filter. And that's the NBC suit that you'd wear. Yeah, is that that one, the fucking, whatever that, the, the creepy kid, yeah, the fucking, I can't remember what it was, the fucking child thing, yeah. The other filters and gas masks were under my bed, and then my um my good gas mask is actually in the shed. That's all, no, do some zipper action whilst wearing that. <laughs> too late, too late. <clears throat> <laughs> my dad was desperate to put some sarcasm on but uh, for, for, for biding my time. It made me jump when I went over there because I wondered what the fucking sudden noise was. Mark said, that's the gas mask fronts the on the movie Dead Man's. Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, it might be. Private zombie game. Resident Evil. One of the Resident Evil games. Oh, God, a bit dusty, that was. Carman said, I'm going full on killer clown this Halloween. I do like a little bit of Halloween, good shit. Uh, Richard said, Guess they will know which one is the favourite then when she is the fan. <laughs> I'll have to get another fucking kids one, won't I? I'll be honest with you, my nephew, though, will probably be at the age where he could probably wear that bigger one now, anyway. Yeah, I reckon he could wear that bigger one. Metallic said, If you come to the Ardley meet next year, Mike. They will come in handy if you used to compost toilets. Fuck's sake. I'll bring them with me. Oh, man, I can't wait. I've got two nieces, 12 and 8. And I've, yeah, I've got a niece and, niece and a nephew. I think my nephew is 10, maybe 11 this year, and my niece must be 7 or 8, something like that. Terrible with fucking people's dates, uh, you know, birthdays. <laughs> Let me look under my bed and I'll show you the other stuff I've got. I think my other gas mask's under there. Well, not my good one, but it's the um, it's the fucking M sixty two one. They're not a bad gas mask. It's old. Yeah, it's so under here. I've got. 
at least two brand new unopened filters. And then this is the old fucking um, M62 V1. I really like this gas mask, actually. It's a really nice fitting one. That one. Um, it's got the side. The filter goes there. Oh, it's actually sailed on the face. Uh, I want Melanie giving birth. Uh, <laughs> oh, now I get you. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, Melanie and our grandmother. Awesome bros. Seven pound. But yeah. Uh, Melanie, you will eventually uh, hear a bit from her. She has, she's featured a tiny, tiny little bit in the um, Spire Files. She'll feature a little bit more soon. Melanie's the chick that um Melanie is the chick that the dropped was digging. <clears throat> She's the chick that dropped was digging that night. Aren't you? <laughs> Aren't she? Uh metallic. <laughs> oh my god. Richard said, you're as bad as someone else who also gets the age and name wrong of his kids. <laughs> uh, fuck it. I don't know, Rick. It goes over my head, mate. I don't know. Um, Cookie said, do the expiry dates even matter if they're still sealed? Not so much. No, I don't think it does. I think... Um, no, I, I think if they're still sealed up, they're, they'd be good to go. I don't think they'll last quite as long as a brand new one, but they will. they'll be good and they'll last... A decent amount. So yeah, if you want if you want them that last a long time, or whatever, get them fully sealed, get proper sealed up ones, and then yeah, when you open them, they should be all right, even if they're out of date. I think it depends what you're trying to protect yourself from. Some things are just basically um, a filter, essentially, but other there are there's other materials in there, basically. Anyway, you know what I mean. <clears throat> um, M3 said, I found the filter degrade before the mask. Well, yeah, that's true. That is true. Carl said, photo of someone wearing that gas mask in an abandoned building would be sick. Or maybe I'll have to get the old gas mask out for some of the videos. Some of like the Halloween stuff. Did, did, uh, did, um, Metallic, did Penny ask who, uh, who the dropped was ogling. <laughs> Penny, he was well into her, Melanie. He was well into her. And he said she was a hot chick, I think, was the right words I heard. Wasn't it metallic? Hot chick or something, wasn't it? Oh, God. <sighs> great, great grandmother. Yeah, mad, isn't it? Tactical. <laughs> I said, you're a sun tactical, you're old. So she clearly is fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. <clears throat> Panic, have you seen a picture of this um hot chick that uh dropped was uh eyeing up? Are you being yeah. sarcastic or something, my son? <laughs> Just one of my least favourite things that happens to be sarcasm. <laughs> Are you being sarcastic or something, my son? <laughs> Just one of my least favourite things that happens to be sarcasm. Well, apparently we're getting it twice. I forget you're there. <clears throat> Fuck's sake. And not me doing that, by the way. I'm not doing it with my feet, either. <laughs> Down with the monarchy. Oh, okay. You're off, Carl, man. Take care, mate. Good night. 
So I don't, didn't mean to do it twice, but we have got an excuse to use it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> what chick? <laughs> you are after dropped. He's the one who's fucking ogling her one night, <laughs> whatever the word is. It's not a word I use very often, I don't even know how to say it. Andy said, have a good stream, weapon, nice chat. Take care, Andy. See you later, mate. Yeah, Mark, the young ones is great, isn't it? Young ones was fucking brilliant. I'm going to put that away for a fucking hour. <laughs> That'll do. Oh, God. Are we finally back to working out next week, Metallic? Fucking hope so. Yeah, tactical. When I get that, um, and I do the review for that, I'm going to, um, well, see if they'll send me some more stuff. And I may get something from Metallic. Um, see if I can get some. Because you don't see a lot of women's, like dedicated women's body armor either. All right, my queen. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it in a way. Go to channel. I just want to look something up. <laughs> Dot said I'd still call her a chick if it gave her a gig. I'm winding you up, mate. I try to get you in trouble with Penny, to be honest. That's what I was up to. <laughs> When he said, got a police grade stab burst for free, did you? How did you get that? I've got fucking so many body arms. I've got enough body arms for the whole family now. Um, how many have I got? I've got just in here one, two, three, four, five. And I think there's, yeah, I think I've got enough body arms for the whole family now. See you later, Cookie. Take care, mate. Is everyone liking the stream, by the way? Myself said, have I been? I've been away for a bit. What did I miss? Not a lot, mate. Not a lot. Oh, storage unit abandoned. Nice one, Penny. I don't know, mate. I can't even what we've been talking about. I don't know. Who fucking knows? You know what it's like. There's the stream topics. I will get into um, making a load of stuff to sell soon, though. Because in all honesty, I'm going to fucking need to. Um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a load of stuff. I have made a load of quivers already. Um, I might need to make a new jig for that, though, because I noticed every time I make the quivers, they're getting slightly tighter. I think this, the thing is shrinking. Um, I need to make bayonets. But yeah, I've made a load of quivers. But hopefully, Metallic, if I can get a lift to yours or a lift back, you can get your birthday present as well. I can get mine. I'll get my Christmas present, and you can get your bloody um, your birthday present. Or was it your Christmas present? I can't remember now. That was your Christmas present, wasn't it? My body armor would be involving a friend in Operation Human Shield. <laughs> Talk to you about upcoming videos. What's your plans? Well, I've got... So there's that. Body armor's coming. I've got... Um, Put me on the spot now, tactical. Joking. Uh, body armor videos. I've got some body armor tests to come. Um, Sunday. I'm completely bloody sick of this. Give us some easy ones, you big bottom ball. <laughs> You're a little shit. <laughs> Doing what I'm fucking talking. I forgot you put me off now, Metallic, you shithead. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Tomorrow there'll be a video of. The garden. I've started the garden now. Um, and then Jim M came round, which you you know because he's on last night, wasn't you? Um, so that'll be on there. The 20 minute video coming tomorrow. Um, I don't know. Loads of shit, to be honest. Tactical. Uh, Spiral Files episode five is coming up later on. Crossbow shit. I might not bother with any of the body arm, not body armor, the. Um, I might not bother with any of the self-defense stuff for a while because it's I don't know what I can do. Most people can come up with ideas. 
<laughs> Haven't I said you sound so defeated? Cheer up, but I can't fight the joke. Myself said, why don't you sell some of the implements you showed in your self-defense side? Well, I could. Some of them I could, yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely could. Um, what I do need to make, actually, I need to make some um, bandana weights to sell. Um, this lo What I can will go on to the, the shop, the, the, the coffee shop. Um, the other stuff just have to be done through emails and that now. It fucked me off, that did. <clears throat> Talk to a nice one. I'm planting this year and tomatoes are sprouting already. I ain't got anything at the minute. Well, apart from the things that Jim bought around. Yeah. Mark said, the standard body arm is no good against a crossbow. Um, the guy from GoGun website done a live test on different bulletproof vests. Ah, yeah, you know why? Right, okay. Okay. Um, what he must be testing there. I've done those exact tests, and I know what is going on there. So, yeah. So, bullet bulletproof vests will not stop crossbows or knives they're not designed to a bulletproof vest only has kevlar in it right and because kevlar is just interwoven fabric the blades just pierce between the um you know the 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 weave um whereas bullets don't it catches it it's all right Tadwell, don't worry about that um i know that you know i know that's total action thing because we was we was talking about it um bullets get stopped by Kevlar, whereas blades go between it. So to have stab protection, you have to, to stop a crossbow, you have to have stab protection in it. So yeah, if you want to stop crossbow, I've got videos, multiple videos on this. Um, yeah. No, I've, 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 you can, so I've seen someone get a, a bolt with a very thin um, point on it. Throw it at some bullet resistant body arm like a dart and it went straight through it. That's how easily knives go through standard bullet resistant vests. So yeah, to stop um to stop crossbows or um just because they act differently, they they I don't know why it does it, but yeah, a bullet catches into the fibers, whereas um pointy blades tend to go between it. Yeah. So yeah, that would that would be standard bullet resistant vest because um e even level one bullet uh not sorry even even level one stab protection could stop that one hundred and seventy five pound crossbow with a broadhead on it. That's level one stab protection because it's designed to stop blades. And spikes, yeah, re good stab and spike protection will stop 175 pound compound. Um, yeah, <coughs> uh, myself said your broadheads are like hollow points for crossbows, really. They sort of are, aren't they? They sort of are, yeah, they sort, yeah, they they do, they act differently, don't they? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I've seen them tests, yeah, you are, well, I haven't seen those tests, I've literally done them, I've literally done them. Um. Yeah. Yeah. If if you have stab protection, um, my the stab protection vests I've used recently, they've they stopped the adder with um broadheads. Um. Yeah. That's just like level one, level one stab protection. But yeah, but a, even like a a grade three fucking um bullet resistant vest, a knife for fucking piss through it like no one's business yeah um four by four fellas it is a question i have this i have this multi-tool the knife is legal but i have a saw on it that's just over would they be funny about that that's that, i don't know because i've often wondered that myself because it ain't technically a blade is it um so even in theory it's hard to, it's a, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Because it, it doesn't, even if it locked in fear, it should be legal because it's not a blade, is it? Yeah, I think that's one of those you'd, someone's got to have it, someone's got to have, get done for it and see what happens, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. 
Razor spike protection can sometimes be referred as ice pick protection as well. Yeah, I've got some body armor here. Um, see, this stuff I don't unfit know yet because I've had the video that armor sent, but I've not got the details on it. This here, I think, in here, I can't remember what's in this at the minute because I've got. I've got the both the panels for this. I've got the stab protection and the um that's the knife protection. So that is KR one SB one. That's knife resistance one spike protection one. Um I don't know if it, one of these is open, I think. Hang on. Let me see. One of these is open. I'll show you what's in them. But they're very different as well. They often have multiple, multiple layers. Because, as I said, Kevlar on its own does not stop blades. I thought one of these was open. I've done the tests on this, and I sure have. That's weird. What is it? I did do the tests on these. Oh, that's why it's got that's got two different vests in. So this one, that's oh, I've got the two good panels in this. This one is knife and spike protection and bullet resistant. So actually, the ones over here under the the open ones. But yeah, these two are open because I've tested these ones. Um, you can see the holes in it. So this is the... I've got some more. Um, also, they all have different stuff in them. So... I don't actually know which one's which on this, but I think that white stuff there is the bullet resistance. P potentially, I don't. Yeah, that's so. Yeah, that's some kind of um. I don't know what the fuck that is. Anyway, that's the bullet resistance, and then that harder stuff there is potentially the knife resistance. And then I'll show you just... Oh, yeah, we're looking the knife resistant one, too. It's in this one. Ah, okay. So the yellow stuff is the knife protection. So that's the knife protection. And then, so the white stuff in this one. That must be the, look how thin that bullet resistance is. That's, that's, that's all it is. Yeah. But yeah, if if you want to um, if you want to stop knives, it has to have an actual. Um, if you want to stop knives and crossbows, the body armor has to have dedicated anti-stab protection in it. Now they're not all like that. Some of them have metal plates in them. Some of them have chainmail in them. Stuff like that. <clears throat> Richard had I know I read that then I said said saw blades. Well, yeah, I suppose. But that, yeah, I, I know what you're saying, there, but does it come under the same... Um, does it come under the same... Look up the description of a blade. Like, you, do you know what I mean? If you look up the description of what a blade is, does a sword blade still, blade still fall under that? Um, because, you know, like... It, I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. I don't need to explain myself for half an hour, but yeah. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, a lot of these things have different materials, and they look very different. Yeah, do you reckon that's what it is? Fiberglass and um, Kevlar. I don't know, Jock, because as I say, you look at different ones, and the material is completely different. But the one I, the other one, I, I don't think I've ever had two body arms that are the same. Um, yeah, they're, they're often very, very different. Normally, Kevlar, you can sort of tell it's, it looks like Kevlar. I don't know I've got one up here that's got Kevlar. I can show you the actual Kevlar. Hang on, I might actually have one. I can show you that I know it's definitely got Kevlar in it. And it's an actual, just a bullet resistor. This one is a purely bullet resistant vest, but no stab protection in it. Feels completely different to the other one. Look how soft this is. Um, Hang on, before I open that, I'll see if this other side's already open or not. But yeah, there's probably different kinds of Kevlar as well. <laughs> Yeah, so this one has no stab protection in it at all. Yeah, look at that. Look how different that is to that other one. And it's actually fibrous and that. Completely different stuff. soft that is that is like um that is actual material like uh you know it's um fabric like because these ones are plastic like you feel me yeah they all as i say they all have different fucking um shit in them you know what i mean okay this, yeah so yeah here's a quick example right I'll do it now, I won't be able to get it through. But um yeah, with any force, you should be able to get it through Kevlar quite fucking easily. Yeah, no. Now I say that I can't fucking do it. But yeah, but it does. They, they don't stop um they don't stop knives like a non um thingy one does. Yeah, fucking, <laughs> fucking typical. All right. But yeah, that's actually coming off in strands, look. No, I'm gonna I'll get rid of that. I'm gonna wash my hands. Temporary take that off for now. <clears throat> take it up properly later. Yeah, they all have weird. They're all very different. Don't 
Tactical says it ought to do with kinetic energy at the impact. Yeah, well, th what I because I saw, as I said, I saw Timbo, not Timbo, Tumbo, Tumbo 1984 actually chuck a fucking bolt at some Kevlar body armor like a dart and tip went straight through. It's fucking mental. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, though. Um, but, yeah. Uh, bullet resistant, don't fucking... Doesn't protect you against knives. Not in the slightest. Well, not in the kind of degree that fucking... Um, what do you call it? Actual stab protection does. Yeah, these these are just um, that's uh, bullet resistant. That is. But yeah, they're all very different. But they never penetrated enough to um, actually hurt you. That's so, oh, I wonder why they don't make bodkin boots. The only thing I could think of, Zed, off the top of my head, because I was literally thinking about that about two seconds ago, maybe because they tumble. I don't know. <clears throat> Do all bullets tumble? I actually know. Cleaning my hands. I haven't really got the way of cleaning properly. I'm going to go downstairs. Um, Drop said, used a bunch of fiberglass blankets when I was at a factory. There was always a bits to cut. I uh, wish I had a roll. I guess that would cost me more than ever. Well, exactly. That's it. <coughs> Mark said, when she rings you in the garden, um, she'd have asked you to move out. That's bad. Drop said, could always carry around a ream of paper, cheap and effective. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um. <laughs> Passat, how are you? He said, um, hello, how's things? How can I grow sideburns like you? Just fucking grow them, mate. Grow them, don't shave them. And then you'll look like a fucking style icon like I do. And sex on fucking legs all right that's how easy just do it <laughs> so they make hollow points so i assume they don't all tumble yeah i don't know zed it's something i never thought about yeah you've just invented potentially armor piercing bullets <laughs> yeah um Metallic said, might be because of the flat surface has not been aerodynamic. Yeah, maybe. Mm. But again, hollow points have like got a fucking hollow in them, so that can't be very aerodynamic. You're getting sucked out tonight, are you, Mark? Fuck's sake. I was looking at my sideies earlier. I thought, you don't fucking see them very often now, do you? Oh, God. Yeah. Got a load of body armor out again. So I hope everyone's liking the stream, by the way. <clears throat> what I mean by that is like the stream. Okay. 
I was putting some fucking lips in on my lips. You have to. That's OnlyFans content. If you want to see me do that, yes, Pete, you tell them. But that Ed Martin needs to get his ass indoors and start groveling. <laughs> yes, yes. Fall down at your missus's knees and grovel, Mark. It's the only thing you can do. Yes, hard. Grovel as hard as you can. Um, and then she, you know, let us know how it went on. I don't know. Or don't. Uh, <sighs> like it hard. Yes. Ah, <sighs> I don't know what to do tomorrow. No, I know, mate. That should be all right. That what I what I cut open there. That was the Kevlar, and the other stuff. I have no guarantee that is fiberglass. I know people are saying it's fiberglass, but in all of the things I've ever looked into in body arm, I've never actually heard them ever say that actually is fiberglass ever. So I don't know. It looks like fiberglass, but I've never heard anyone ever say it definitely is fiberglass. And I didn't cut any fiberglass or anything. But yeah, no, I get it. I'm alright. And for us, he is entertained. Let's see who's going to get there first. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? <clears throat> right, now I'll say <laughs> Passat said the Star Org was popular with the Irish Defence Forces. How do you rate that? Well, I don't know. I like. I always liked the um, Star Org. That's partly why I bought that. But that is not a Star Org, though. But it looks like one. Um, yeah. In the end, I went for a different kind of bullpup. Yeah, I like, I like bullpups. I like the concept of bullpups. But um, I don't really know much about the old Star Org. Mark said. I'm chucking you out in a minute, Metallic. You're fucking interrupting me. <laughs> uh, Mark said the torp, he, he means the torp bolts, the torp red back bolts. Some of them lose their tips in the target. Yeah, what I do, I um, super glued them back in. Keep putting the bloody fucking clips on, Pete, while I'm talking. Mark said, "Yeah, I must do. I must do more than grovel. <laughs> I best uh, worship uh, her. Hang on, I best wish her of her feet. I don't know. Worship at her feet. <clears throat> she's a pest tonight. Yeah, she's a bloody troll, isn't she? She's the bloody troll. She's trolling me tonight. Good luck, Mark. Take a broom and sweep her off her feet. Like so. <clears throat> exactly. He's made me paranoid about that fucking <laughs> dust and shit in the air now. I feel like I've got shit in my mouth. I didn't act. I shouldn't have disturbed anything anyway. Fuck it, I'll just swallow it down and it can irritate my guts instead. Wouldn't make any fucking difference to where they already are. The tarot said, I'd put the clip on, Pete, when I'm scared I get told off. Go on, put it on, put it on. <laughs> no, she's not going to. <laughs> Fucking hell, my time. Oh my god! This guy's gonna hurt us, Walter? No, Donnie. These men are cowards. Fuck you! Bunch of fucking crybabies! Oh, no. Fuck no. you! Hey, no, come on. Makes me sit there fucking waiting and then puts it on half of your fucking sentence. Uh, but... You've changed, bro. That's it. She's getting fucking chucked out of it. 
Stop it, you know, fucking twat. Fucking hell. What are you doing to my bloody channel? Fucking hell. Where am I? Um, oh, that is highly ironic, uh, Satman. He said, when will you be practicing for the new fucking James Bond role? Well, funny thing is, I already fucking have been. I genuinely already have been. I've been fucking practicing. What do you think I'm doing when I do this? Right? Not yet. I'll tell you when I'm doing it. I need to move some shit out of the way. Oh, I can't pick it up. I would have that gun in my hand, right? Where's, where's the camera? Imagine me in a nice overcoat, looking nice and smart. Or maybe I get my this out my proper one. Let me get down this one. This ain't my proper overcoat, and I need a shirt on underneath it. But imagine me wearing this with a nice black shirt underneath it and a gun in my hand walking along like this. I may have already fucking done it. <clears throat> Metallic fucking knows. <laughs> Named to have a comfy man. Exactly, Zed. Fucking exactly. <clears throat> oh, God. I am, Tally. said, you're getting proper own tonight. I fucking am. And I shouldn't be. She shouldn't be fucking. This is all just fucking accidental. That's the fucking. I'm the one that did it. Fucking twat. Stop it. It's not even on purpose. Oh, God. Dad said, I'd have thought it was fibers. Oh, I'm not saying it definitely isn't fiberglass or anything. It's just I've never, in all of the things I've ever looked at, no one's ever said it was fiberglass, though. You know what I mean? Let's have a quick look. It'd be simple. Just. <clears throat> um. Fiberglass reinforced laminates can be used as structural material for bulletproof vests. But I don't know if that's hard stuff. That's the problem. This, what I'm looking at here is plates, not soft stuff. So they do use fiberglass in the hard stuff, you know, actual plates. Um... I don't know. It's, I don't really know. But I'm just saying I've never, I've never, in all the things I've ever read, an older, an older body I've ever been sent, I've never seen the, I've never seen the word fiberglass. Who knows? <clears throat> As I said though, they don't always tell you what's in them though. <laughs> Double oh three and a half, and the screen goes blood with red with blood. Exactly, Pete. Exactly. Name's Bond, <laughs> and the name's name James Name. Please to what? Bond's name, the James. Are you all right? Uh, Bane's not. <laughs> you having a strong. <laughs> God, a Bond bullet. That's actually great. That's actually great. <laughs> uh, yeah, about the naughty step for Metallic, exactly. Oh, Penny, I never thought about that. Yeah, naked woman silhouette. Singing, yes. Yeah. I don't think you read my client properly, Mike Lowell. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, my name's Man Abercrombie. Man, fuck's sake, no, I didn't. Oh god. So, any question? Would they all be commissioned? Oh, yeah, no, they are. Yeah, yeah. If in the UK, if I, if you had any firearms, they'd have to be locked up in the safe anyway. I suppose I could put them out on display and then lock them up afterwards. But now they're all like deacting that. <laughs> See, you didn't correct me on the princess part. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Bratress babe, for fuck's sake. I only just saw that, actually. But I don't know, Mike, before you ask, I am not doing naked silhouette woman singing. <laughs> you read my mind. Go on, go on. 
Dad said no, the one about fiberglass. Oh, hang on then, sorry. I'll be honest, Dad, there's a lot of comments going, so I wasn't read. I'll be honest, I wasn't really reading the problem. I'd have thought if it was fiberglass, it would be awkward if a bullet did penetrate it. Okay. That doesn't help me any more than the last time I read it, to be honest. <laughs> Pepe, how you doing, mate? You right? We all know much drinker choice. Alcoholic. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Sorry, Jed. I want I wasn't being up weird then. I went over my head and doesn't mean something else or not. <clears throat> Do you mean it? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think about it a minute. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, Zed. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, you get five in the wound. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Natalia said, uh, I thought you meant brattish. No, I think he did. No, I thought he meant, I thought he was trying. I know, I think that's what is what he was saying. <laughs> no, I don't dress up as an inspector gadget at Halloween. I never have. Yeah, Pepe, what have you been up to? Are you tired, are you? Yeah. I ain't too bad. I got a simmering bad mood just hanging about in, in the lower, you know. But I'm all right. I, keep, I can keep above it for now. Well, by four, fellas. Good night, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Have some good eclipse parties over the over in the States. Uh, enjoy it as well with the rest of the clouds over there. Yeah, take care, four by four, fellas. It was nice having you on, mate. Um, see you next weekend, hopefully. Yeah, take care, mate. See you later. Have a good night and have a good weekend. But that said, is that Vaseline? That is Vaseline. That is Vaseline. And that is a secret weapon still, though. It is a secret weapon. <laughs> it is a secret weapon. Just what kind of weapon, I don't know. Well, you don't know. It's me, for me to know and maybe you to find out. I'm still stuck on how I can persuade Metallic to do a naked silhouette for me. When, when we get in, you know into the right mindset for shit fitness surely you'd be able to do a bit of a <laughs> secret weapons for ourselves yeah exactly exactly Josh. have you got the same tin in your pocket have you peach has yours got the same as mine in though uh <laughs> vaseline <laughs> which nearly out <clears throat> Yes, lots and lots of, yeah, lots and lots of alcohol on a body suit. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe tactical. Tell it not happening, Mike, for it to be inappropriate for spire files. Hang on, for it to be appropriate for spire files, it should be you doing it. I'm up for that. I'll do it. I'll do it. Fuck it, I'll do it. But I just know what Penny requested, that as well. Blink once if you need to be rescued. <laughs> yeah, no, I did. I just blinked once. Um... <coughs> Why me? No one wants to see me fucking my naked fucking silhouette. Ah, uh, well dropped. You have now just predicted something I've got written down to do. <laughs> I do want to do a Hitchcock um, silhouette. Definitely. I was, I was watching Alfred Hitchcock Presents the other day. And I genuinely was thinking, yeah, I'm going to... um. I'm going to do a fucking um, Hitchcock silhouette one day. I've got a big book of fucking ideas. Every time... No, it's, no, it's all right, Jack. It's cool. I'd like that you had the same idea. Um, no, no, no. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, this is safe. But, yeah, I have got... I'll have to cover half of them up, though. <laughs> I've got a... Spire files, ideas, and to-do. Nah, you're all good, man. No, I think it's cool that you thought the same thing. Right, one, two, three, four, four and a half pages of ideas here. You're off, Mark. Good night, mate. I'll tell you a couple of them. So we have got, I want to do, this is a good one, I think. This would be great when I do this. I want to do a, um, hang on, I just need to read something here. I do want to do, you know, Freddy Krueger, um, the little uh, 
One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better look. You know, I want to do one of those for the Spyro files or the Spyroverse. Uh, Zed said to Fat Man, just say you'd better not let Mike catch you robbing his ass. You'd be surprised what he'd rattle up your ass without a vassal in. That's what I'd say. I would admit it, Mike. You looked great in those red shoes. I fucking did. I did. Um, what else we got? <laughs> crow or no crow cigar or no cigar? I don't want to tell you too many of the ideas, but there's quite a few. We probably spoke about some of these. One of my things I'm looking forward to the most, though, is putting Zed's bloody picture in the back of the books. But no, that was a good call drop. Yeah, a great munch and light, mate. Mate. <clears throat> yes, I'll do. Yeah, do, yeah, do, Pete. Yes, 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 yes. There's two things you can do. You can literally do the recordings if you want. Uh, yeah, okay. Let me tell this to everyone who's, who's going to do the voiceovers for me. Um, <clears throat> so, what I've asked for is people just to read the questions. If you want to, just stand in front of like a blank wall and pretend to be a reporter, even better. But you don't need to do that. And also, if you can think of any of your own funny ideas to say, you'll get more clips in it then. Because obviously, if I have 10 people reading out all those same things, I'm only going to get one of you each doing one. You know what I mean? So if people do some original things, you'll get even more time in it. One, two, Nemesis has come for you. Three, four. <laughs> She's taking it all. <laughs> Dad said, put in my picture on the last page of the book. No, that's what I was going to do. Then that wouldn't be on the cover or nothing. No, it's in. It's the inside of the back. You know what I mean, or whatever, or maybe on the back. Um. I may be able to do it on the last page, maybe. But no, I wouldn't. It's not going to go on the covers yet. Don't worry about that. I, I'm, I wouldn't do that. I'm not pissed taken. No, no, it's for the inside thing. Yeah, let me carry on reading it. Um, putting my picture on the last page of the book is okay, but don't put it on the cover. Don't want to frighten any customers off after it. Yeah, no, don't you, Rose Eddie? It's going to be like a proper. Um, inside cover thing if i can or maybe as i don't know if they do inside cover bits so it'll either have to be on the last page or on the back in a little bit up in the corner like this yeah i don't know if you can do inside bits so it may have to be like that but i can move that to like there or whatever but that may be your picture or I'll try and do it on the last page. I have like a couple of blank spaces. I have a couple of blank bits and then, yeah. Passat, he said, you have nearly 42k subs. That's a lot of bustling. certainly is, mate. It certainly is. <sighs> Dad, that funny thing, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, and actually, Nemesis going for the foreskins, is it? Dad said, Nemesis won't be after them, but someone else might be. Uh, they'd both. Um, I think they'd both look good in a coffin. We should say no more. Fat man said, "Crazy as stomach noise on YouTube." Thank you. Yes, uh, I do. I, if you didn't know this, I do um, stomach noise ASMR. That is my little niche. I do. <laughs> Pretty good shit, isn't it? I'm 
In fact, said, you know what his gut is having. What we have here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> that is the first time we've done a clip successfully all night, my queen. Fuck's sake, was that? <laughs> so I said, your banner is on next level. I'm really impressed. Fuck's sake. Would you like me to read you out some of this book that Zed Not Z wrote? He's in the he's actually in the chat right now. Uh Zed Not Z seven. These are the books he writes for the spy files. All right. I won't read the whole thing. If you want to read any more, you'll have to buy it. Desperately, Arnold flung his hands out and grabbed the door frame in front of him. He felt his legs rise up until he was parallel to the floor. Still the suction rose in strength. It was then he noticed the broom he'd used to sweep the floor leaning against the wall. It was close to him, and a sudden idea flashed into his head. He grabbed the broom and rammed its handle between his buttocks and up into his rectum. <laughs> to, his surprise, he, to his surprise, he felt a twinge of pleasure as he did so. That would stop me being sucked in, he thought. Uh, all right, that's the end. You have to, you have to carry on. You have to buy it if you want to... Um, if you want to know the rest, put in the word exclamation mark book and it should come up. Book one, I think, as in the letter one. <laughs> don't let you put the don't let the story put you off. No, to be honest, tactical. Yeah, for an off the crime, for off the crime, uh, off the cuff rhyme. That was good. <clears throat> that's it. We waiting to put that on for ages. The legend himself. With that said, this is my debut tonight. I think I might make a return appearance. Oh, good. I'm glad you've been enjoying it. You you fucking wait till you see a drunk stream, mate. You fucking wait till you see a drunk one. <laughs> Sounds like crash. It does. Yeah, chromium and spunk-covered dials. Zad, you need to put spunk-covered dials and chromium in there at least once. <laughs> Don't make me get crash out, Penny. No, I better not. Pink said, and it's just getting into the good part. Jocks, I still need to have a go at the Bob Ross painting just made from a spider. Oh, yes. The funny thing is, that's still on there. That's on my list to do, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that as well. You feel free to do a Bob Ross. Have I written that down? I should have. Yes, you feel free to do a Bob Ross um, Spirophiles thing as well, because I'm going to do that as well. Um that should have been on here. I think I've got to write that down. Yes, the joy of spirographs. Yeah, I don't think I've written that one down. <clears throat> You're coming up with all the fucking ideas tonight. Yes, the joy of spirographs. Why have I got that written down? I thought that would have been early on. I've got loads of weird shit on here. Don't do Spirograph PSA. Um, Spirograph audio books. Spirograph pop up books. New shit stickers. Samurai Bird's song as its own fucking song. Um, Freddy Krueger rhyme. A bonfire night. Spirograph special. Silence to the Lambs, piss take scenes. George, I say goodbye to you. I go to the nether regions, to the frontiers of the unknown. Can't believe I forgot to write that one down. How deep down is my bunker? Oh, good... A good 30 centimetres, maybe. A zipper man action is the best. <coughs> that said, I suppose you could do something like the sound of sizzling man juice filled the empty spaces as a red-hot chrome-plated knitting needle slid across the floor towards his crutch. Yeah, that'd do. That'd do. <laughs> Yes, perfect. Perfection, Zed, perfection. That reminds me of the shit me and Metallic was watching on YouTube earlier. <laughs> oh, God. The only thing that would have topped that off, Zed, would have been a, 
a crotch full of um, a crotch with um, knob cheese around it or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that's quite yes. One, two, grab your broom. Yeah, three, four. Oh god. Ah, oh, name the movie. Hey, you want to do a movie quiz, dear? Oh, we do movie quizzes for that. That would be Pulp Fiction. That would be Pulp Fiction. That would be Bruce fucking Willis, his character Butch, saying it to his missus, Esmeralda, I think her name is. No, Esmeralda's the cab driver, isn't it? Esmeralda Philolobos. Yeah, I can't remember what his missus is now. Yeah. Uh... I thought so that was Peach's fault. If I hadn't clicked his link, I wouldn't have got sidetracked. Yeah, that's your fault, Peach. <laughs> Crusty and reeking crotch, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> done it. You've done it, um, Zed. Uh, okay. Oh, good, Passat. You know, we have a good laugh on here. When I'm in a good mood, which I am most of the time. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, you wait till uh, next weekend, next Saturday, I'll be doing a drunk stream. Might get myself some 9% lager. Um, oh, no, I'm not. No, I've never been on there, um, I man. Is it worth going on? I've never been on Rumble. Don't really understand. I ain't really been. No, I don't really understand it, if that makes sense. I might risk a copyright thing in a second because I want to show you lot something. It's, it's inspired me. Um, yeah. It doesn't matter if I tell you about this. I don't even know if it's fucking real, but I assume it was. Let's see, hang on, hang on. Basically, I saw a trailer for a film the other day that looked so fucking demented, I thought I could easily copy this and make a load of fake fucking film trailers for films that don't exist. You know, like on um, Grindhouse, um, Planet Terror and um, Death Proof, if you bought like the double set or watched it in the cinema, between the films, I had a load of fake adverts for films that didn't exist. One of them did get made, which was Machete. Machete was originally a, a fake trailer, but people loved that trailer so much, they actually made a film of it. You look up the Grindhouse fake trailers. I may start making Grindhouse fake trailers, and I was inspired by this. I won't show you the whole thing. I'll show you the first like 30 seconds of it. But I watched this trailer, and I thought I could easily copy something like that. Um, space so vast so void so dark so deep so what and out of the vacuum comes a very ugly visitor mutant on the bounty we're gonna be all right. Anybody have a cigarette? The bounty, an ill-fated freighter. There are things about this mission only I am qualified to know. On a collision course with trouble. Now, they're about to take a little detour of cosmic proportions. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that film. I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't even know if it's real. It must be real. It made me think, shit, I could make a load of fake film adverts now for the Spotify stuff, which I'm going to do. I don't know I already do the fake adverts, but yes, I'm gonna. you might see shit like that for films that don't even exist now, all, all Spyverse related. Down to 9%, the after party will be a lot of us laughing, you snoring your head off, probably. Or maybe I won't I won't drink the whole lot of that. It looks, actually, Pepe, it looks all right, doesn't it? Oh, Pepe, I found last night a link to um, Twice Under on YouTube. So, yeah, hang on. If you not want a link to Twice Under, I fucking found it. I haven't watched it all yet. I went to watch it last night. I was so tired. I went to fucking bed. But, um, 
I saw this. It's not a brilliant film, but it's worth watching. It's somewhat different. I hope you're all enjoying your fucking uh, stomach noises there, so uh... Yeah, I couldn't believe I found that. I just put a fucking different search term and found it. I went, Pete, they're all going to be Spyroverse related. And if, if other people want to join in or make them, please do. But yeah, they're going to be fake adverts for films that don't actually exist. As long as they they revolve around the Spyro files. Or not Spyro files, the Spyroverse. Or Spyrographs, even. Yeah. Well, the Spyroverse is the whole entire universe of Spyrograph shit. But yeah, as long as it's Spyroverse related. Passat said, question is, do you think it would be legal if I bought a pellet gun and shot birds trying to start nesting in the garden? If they're pest kind of birds, yeah, but if they're, you could get done for shooting sort of um, robins and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But yeah, it, does, it depends where you live, really, if someone sees you. <laughs> Passat said, put the E4 trailer on. What's the E4 trailer? <laughs> What's the E4 trailer? Oh, episode four trailer. I see if it's on here. That one's more of a teaser trailer. <laughs> this is the trailer for episode four of the Spire Files. Not on Halloween, which it sometimes says. Hang on, hang on. All right. If you would like to watch all the content ever made for the Spyroverse, click here in the description. There's the fucking playlist. There's a playlist of everything. There's a documentary. But yeah, you, you lot might as well get prepared for... Pepe, have you seen any of the Spyroverse stuff yet? Pepper, I think you'd enjoy it. That wasn't my James Bond role, no, but that's the same, that's the character I play. Yes, that uh, but that was me in my James Bond role. Yes, yes. That is one of the new James Bond films coming up. <laughs> Are you seeing the trailers? God, well, Pepe, hopefully, when I do the next one, because you're a regular, you're a regular stream, you're a regular stream contributor now. When I do the next Spyroverse evening, hopefully you'll be on and you can watch the whole lot with us. Um, if I get time, I might do a whole new. Um, hang on, let me just finish this. Con let me con finish this conversation before anyone plays any clips. Um, or metallic anyway. Um, hopefully, if you're on. Pepper, you'll get to watch everything, and I may even make a new um, documentary. I might do a follow-up documentary. All right, Metallic, if you're there, you can play it. Otherwise, I'll do it because it's right there anyway. Oh, I'll do it.
Jock said, such lovely ankles, Mike. You know what? If you if you donate enough money, uh, Jock, I'll pull my fucking sock down for you. And you can see it fucking live. You can see them live, mate. Let's, see, let's go and see if anyone has donated anything tonight. Ah, uh, Passat, you are now delving deep, deep, deep into the madness that is the Spyroverse, which is something we came up on a live, came up with on a live stream, right? If you look up in the chat, there's a there's a thing that says Spyverse playlist. Click that after this and watch the videos. You will not be disappointed. It will be the greatest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Hello, Matt, by the way. Um, it is insane. People... It, it, it divides people, put it that way. Good night, Dad. People have, people have bought the books and burnt them. People have unsubscribe to me because they're so shocked with what they saw um someone had a book read to him and couldn't get to sleep so yes be prepared i hope you have a strong fucking stomach mate and a fucking wheel of iron but i dare you to watch it because you may fucking love it yes let me just show you what group i'm part of before i um So my James Bond character is actually this is this is who they are. You have to excuse the picture. It was when I was about fucking seventeen fucking stone. <laughs> this is my ID card, which I carry around with me. Uh, there's there's one of my uh, merchandise shirts. You can buy these if you want them. And people actually drive around with stickers of the, this on their cars, and their cars are then forever known as shipmobiles. I'm still really fucking proud of that fucking logo. There's a shit sticker there. You can buy those, stick them on your car. Basically, Passat, what we found out was. That if you're if you're a bit evil, um, well not a bit evil. If you're evil and you do, um, yeah, the problem is dropped. I'm getting back to that now anyway, so there's no fucking point at this point. Um, uh, if you do a spirograph and you're a little bit evil, no, if you are evil, you basically get sucked into the nether regions, and they might just give you a crinkle cut cock. Hang on a minute, they might give you a crinkle cut cock. That's the least you'll get. The worst, you'll get sucked into the nether regions and tortured for the rest of your life. Yes, metallic player. Either one. Um, I reckon safety broomstick attachment would be better. Cheers, Dr. By the way. No, that's true, actually. You are right. Uh yeah. Yeah, Passat. Yes, you will either you'll either love it and and come back and you know, or you might disappear forever. But um, yeah. The the Spyroverse stuff is just 
Plus, we like to have a laugh on the live streams. We've just we've just fucking really gone with it, and we love it. And I make episodes for it, and Zed writes these books for it. But it all started off as just a joke on a live stream. It came up as pure coincidence talking about maybe spirographs were evil, and then Zed said he'd had a nightmare about one, and I just fucking went mental with it. And look, here we are still now. Yeah. Um, one of our one of our um, good friends fell off a ladder. So that after doing a spirograph, so that was it. That was a spiro fucking Desmond done that to him. A joke that got very very out of hand. Yeah, that's part of my. It's literally part of my life now. Yeah. Oh look, I made these the other day. I forgot about this. Anyone want one of these? Completely forgot about these. Now, cheers, Pasat. I'm glad you like it, mate. Um, I completely forgot. I made two of these. And if, if, I, if they get sold before the fucking preppers, mate, I'll just make more. But I have got, if you want them. Are you off, Pasat? Take care, mate. Yeah, definitely check out the Spyroverse stuff tomorrow. I recommend if so when you if you watch the documentary. You don't necessarily have to listen to the book reading. The book reading's good, but if you want to just get down to the sort of proper content, not proper content, but like the, the visual content, you'll be able to listen to the book later on once you've watched the series, if you know what I mean. Yeah, good night, Pasat. So watch the documentary. If you don't want to do the book reading, skip on to the episodes. Watch episodes one, two, three, and four of the Spire Files, and then go to the books, all right? Anyway... I've got a couple of CCC crinkle cut cock um, spirograph uh, key rings. If anyone wants them, but yeah, you don't necessarily have to listen to the book straight away. Um, a lot of people do, but it's just because there is a whole half. And but if you do skip the book on the documentary, go to the end of the documentary so you can see the outro. Yeah, take care, Pasat. I might see you next week, mate. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it though. See you later, mate. Take care. CCC bandana weights. Yeah, so actually, these are available right now. Earrings. <laughs> yes, I'm a bit weird then. I've also got some um, sew on patches. They're all either black or brown, these ones, because. I had to fucking dye them because I accidentally spilt dye on some of them, so they all had to be dyed. Um, and then the key rings. I'm going to put them on the shop soon. Um, yeah. Well, we may have got a new view. I've had a few new viewers to the Spyverse stuff, actually, recently. <coughs> yeah, the fucking earrings. Yeah, fucking Pat Butcher fucking earrings. Um, we've had... Cos ccc keeps getting mentioned people kept asking me what ccc is they've gone on my channel search ccc and um a video has come up which you can't talk about they've watched it and messaged me said holy fuck is this what the ccc thing is and i've then said yes it is if you want to know all about it and then i've sent them all the links to everything Penny said, Metallic, don't forget to tell Mike how pretty he is. So I'll call the doctor tomorrow. Uh, Monday, I'll call him. I'll call him Monday. So right, I've already got the number ready. But yes, thank you, Penny. <laughs> Penny's a long Penny. I'll set a reminder for Monday after the workout. Yes. Yeah, I'll ring him up. No, I've, I, I wouldn't mind getting a new hearing it anyway. And also, I want to see if I can get a new ear bit. Because it, it hangs out my ear a bit now. So if I push it in, I can actually hear a lot better. It works anyway. If that was a little bit tighter in my ear, I'd be getting quite a lot more sound. <clears throat> All right, we can shut up about the files a bit now then. Sat's gone. <laughs> Matt said, struggling to play the stream, mate. The internet's been bad. That's a shame, mate. Sorry for opening that right next to the mic. Though. That's a shame. Yeah, it's a bastard when your internet goes funny. About 20 minutes, mate. I may stay on for a little bit longer. I don't know, though. Um, thing is, there are people in um, 
the room next to me to sleep and there's my mum will be asleep in the room below me so i can't take the piss so i have to fuck off outside at least to half 12 and at least 20 minutes <clears throat> yes yeah, so we need to do book four soon there's a lot of work for me to do you're off tactical cheers uh for being about mate appreciate it and I'll, um i'll see you next week yeah next saturday it'll be a drunk one if you're about not necessarily, but I assume I will be because, you know, I wanted a drink tonight. But, um, but no, you know, I am behaving myself. And that's a little bit of, you know, if I can control that, you know. Um, so, yeah, next Saturday, have a drink. Yeah, take care, mate. See you later. As far as I'm aware, Penny, she's, I'll be honest, actually, I don't think she's doing very good because she said to me today, she wanted me to answer the door for her because she had got up to answer the door, but I'd um, already got down the stairs uh, before she got there. And she said, oh, good, you can answer the door. And I said, oh, you feeling all right? She said, actually, no. I sometimes feel so bad I wish I was in hospital because their fucking painkillers aren't working properly. Um, yeah. She seems all right, but she's in a lot of pain because the painkillers don't do fuck all for her. But she's been on the phone a lot talking to her um, to get new painkillers because that's what they're doing now. Because when she had that pneumonia, that really fucked her up, and, and they found other things wrong with her and had to take her off certain medication that was working really well for her. I think they had to put her on blood thinners. Once you get put on blood thinners, you have to stay on blood thinners for the rest of your life, then you can't ever come off them. Um, so she's got to have that forever now. But because of that, it means she can't have certain, um, there's certain medications, certain painkillers she can't take anymore. And because of that, she's now in constant pain. Um, that's been going on for fucking ages, at least two fucking years. Um, yeah. But I do hear her on the phone a lot, trying to get new stuff. So, yeah, um, you know. See, they're doing as much as they can, but it ain't fucking good, really. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't help her. It's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that about blood fins. Yeah, once you get put on blood fins, they can't take you off of them because it's too dangerous, I suppose. There may be some situations where you can, but yeah. It, but it then meant, yeah, she could never take any painkillers that would do blood thinning effects and other ones. And they was working really good for her. Yeah, bastard, ain't it? Matt said, tried watching a film. Uh, leave the world behind. Got a perfect copy. Couldn't even get get into it. Um, which one's Leave the World Behind? Hang on. Um, I might have seen that one. Yes. Right. That's I was talking to Metallic about that. Did you get to watch it in the end? Couldn't get into it, even as my type of film. Right. I've heard quite a lot of stuff about it, so I thought, yeah, I'll watch that. I'll give it a go. Um, I found it... What's well, weird, isn't it? And it, I understand why people didn't like the end of it either. But I, I didn't mind the end of it. I don't know if you got to the end. But um, without spoiling it for other people... It's an odd ending, but that didn't bother me. I because I, I don't know. Sometimes an ending that isn't fully explained, I like. No, you haven't, Metallic. No, no. It's the one that I said about. Um, oh, I can't remember how to describe it. It's like an apocalypse is happening, but it's a very slow sort of. I don't know. Let me read the sort of thing for it, and I and then I'll um. Oh, no, I actually told you the end of it. I told you the end of it. All right. Um, right, hang on. Yeah, okay. A family's getaway to look a luxurious rental home takes an ominous turn when a cyber attack knocks out their devices and two strangers appear at the door. So, basically, the cyber attack happens, but it affects everything. So, it starts affecting planes and boats and they're crashing and stuff like that and all sort of technology is fucked. Um, and then these two people turn up at the house and let, you know, um, self-driving cars are all fucked. They're all just doing whatever they want to do and everything's fucked, basically. Yeah. Um, 
I told you the end of it. It was the one that I said about the young girl. No one spoiled the end of this, please. It was the young girl who kept complaining because um, she'd been watching Friends <clears throat> and she was on the last episode when the cyber attack happened. So all she cared about was not being out of what's all she wanted was to watch the last episode of Friends. <laughs> it's quite amusing. It's quite amusing. Yeah. Yeah. But I get why you wouldn't have got into it. Metallic said gutted. We probably won't see anything in the clips tomorrow. Too far on the wrong side of the globe. Slight chance just before sunset. If you're not going, ah. Oh. Ah, so we'd have to get up really fucking early as well then. I ain't fucking doing that. I'm having a nice lion. I really fucking appreciate my lions now. Yeah, you remember me telling you about that. Matt, how much of it did you see? Did you watch the whole thing? Oh, no, sunset, not sunrise, sorry. Matt said, yeah, when they're gone on a day and all AI, no humans and stuff, found it quite boring. I'll be honest with you, Matt. It, it was an odd film. It didn't really go anywhere, did it? And nothing really happens. And then it ends really weirdly. Um, it's not... I would never watch it again. Um, and I wouldn't really recommend it either. I, I, so I wouldn't say a shit. And if you like... It's, it's a hard one to say. It's sort of worth watching. But you wouldn't ever watch it again, I don't think. It's not worth multiple watches. And it's... I don't know. It doesn't stay with you or anything, anything like that. Hmm. <sighs> But yeah, Penny, my mum's sort of normal-ish for how she is. You know what I, mean? I hope she does get some decent painkillers and that. There's a few things she could do, but she just can't do them. So it doesn't really fucking help. You know what I mean? Oh, sunset. Sorry, Metallic. Yeah, I wasn't really thinking. Sun sunset. Okay. Oh, all right. So, yeah. I said there's a small chance we could watch that then. Well, remind me at the time, and I might get a welding mask out. I probably won't bother, though. I won't forget. <clears throat> I thought it was Ben Hur today. Yeah. I feel like showing everyone a slight little clip of the Spy Revives episode 5 just to get their... Um, get their fucking... I don't know. I can't think of a word. Get him excited. I know you're all excited for it anyway. Yeah, Metallic is now a fucking god botherer. I fucking knew it! Oh! Oh, I wish Persio was on, because I, um, I slightly fell in love with our Walter Goggins after he showed me the clip he fucking got me. Are you being sarcastic he... or something, my son? <laughs> Just one of my least favourite things that happens to be. Sarcasm! You're a dick. I should wait till I stop talking. Why he... are you retarded? Stop it. Because I was actually going to say something funny and you spot it now. Dickhead. He has the nicest pair of breasts I've ever seen. Well, on the telly anyway. And if you don't know what that's all about, you're going to have to go and fucking look it up or ask Persia. Um, yes. Yeah, Metallic's a god bother right now. <clears throat> I think she fucked up what I was saying. The bloke from that clip, Metallic. <clears throat> uh, the, yes, Fanny, yes, yes. <laughs> Matt said, uh, Metallic, the new one, I've not seen it. I like Robin Hood film, the one who played Gladiator. No, Mike, I skipped the end, didn't watch it. Can everyone put their fingers in their ears while I tell Matt the end of... Um... I want to tell Matt the end of it. All right, I'm going to do a countdown. I'm going to do a five-second countdown, and then you have to mute this. And when I go like this... You can listen again, all right? Matt, I'm going to tell you the end of it because um, it's quite amusing. All right. Five, four, three, two, one.
right? The end of that film, Matt, the young girl goes missing, finds this fucking house, goes into the house, goes to the basement, finds a fucking fully kitted out nuclear bunker, goes into the bunker, shuts the door behind her, so everyone else is locked out, um, goes and turns the telly on, goes to their DVDs, finds the very last episode of Friends, sits there and watches it, and then it ends. That's the end of the fucking program. So, yeah, you haven't missed anything because it was shit. Uh, yeah. But there you go, Matt. Now you know. Now you know. The drop said, between those huge sweating tits, that, that huge, enormous, hang on, that huge, enormous, the way you'd think of God's... Oh, God. Is that a fucking hand that was dropped? Um, that's it, your fingers in your ears and la 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 but yeah exactly <clears throat> um, Matt said the clip from Hate for Late Mike brilliant film I like I like Guy Ritchie films Gentleman is brilliant yeah I've not seen um, yeah I'm a big fan of the Hate for Late it's one of, that's one of my favourite films Probably my second favourite Western. I don't know. It's up there anyway. It's in my top five. Eight for eight. Really love it. Um, Gentlemen in the series I haven't seen yet. If that's odd, I think what I thought I was going to see was Gri Grizzly Adams. Um, I was expecting... Yeah, no, I, yeah, no, I know what, uh, what... Oh, yeah, and that's what Penny was saying about as well, wasn't it? Um, Metallic said, I think what I thought I was going to see was Grizzly Adams. I was expecting to see a film about a bloke living in the mountains. Yeah, I because I get what you're saying. Like, what is it, Ben? I know what you're talking about, but I can't fucking think what it is. It might be Grizzly Adams. Mm. <clears throat> Yeah. But I can't think what it when you said it cuz I when you said you didn't that wasn't what you meant to watch. I in my head I straight away thought yeah, you were thinking of some mountain man type thing, sort of um yeah, Grizzly Adams type thing. You know, I said it to you, didn't I? But it's either that or it's something else. Yeah, uh, what did you think of the end, Matt? The only thing I've got that's got... I'll probably have a few things that have got the name Ben in. Oh, I ain't got the name Ben in, though, has it? It's got the name Ben G. What has it got Ben in it? You were thinking about that, Metallic, I think. <laughs> you thought you was going to watch that, and you watched fucking Ben Hur. That's... I own two Disney films, uh, Benji the Hunted and The Watcher in the Woods. Both of them are fucking brilliant. And I wouldn't class either of those fuckers as children's films as well. That was scary as fuck as a child. Benji is fucking harrowing as well. A bit quiet now. <laughs> I'll be on for about another five minutes, I reckon. I might, you know, I might stay for a little bit longer. <clears throat> Dad said, I also heard the title so many times I thought I'd make the effort to watch it. The first two hours was tedious as fuck, but I actually got quite into it once I got on the ship and the injuries were surprisingly brutal. I don't think it should have been on in the afternoon. I got I'd seen that as a kid, it would have traumatised me. Yeah, I think Ben Hur is one of those I've seen multiple times, but I've never bothered to watch it. I've never, never managed. Hang on, I've never properly sat down as an adult 
and watched it. So I don't count it as properly watched. Um, there's quite a few of them, but I've never really sat down as an adult and watched them. Spartacus is another one. I don't think I've ever sat down properly and watched that as an adult. I've seen it multiple times. Matt said, I forgot where you two in the country now, Mike. Been subscribed ages, but never asked. I'm in um, Buckinghamshire, a little bit north east, west of London. He said, but here in Cornwall, it's stormy, cold, and rubbish for a few days now. It's been all right here. In fact, well, it's weird. I thought it was quite a nice day today, but my mum and that had the heating on. And I was sat here fucking boiling with the window open while they had the heating on. Yeah, a bit cold where you are. Metallic, what's it like where you are? Metallic is north of me and east to me. <clears throat> yeah, I like 300. Have you seen, Matt? Have you ever seen... So I like... I've got 300 up there. Um, 300, great film. I really enjoyed it. Have you ever seen the other one, 300 Spartans? I think it was a 1950s or 60s film. Exactly the same story, except because 300 is based on the 300 Spartans, but also based on the um, Frank, uh, what's his name? The, the graphic novels anyway, or comics, whatever they were. Um, it's visually based on that. But yeah, there is another film from the 60s, I think, called 300 Spartans, which is it's a, it's a good one, but it's an older one. Yeah, the original's good, isn't it, Pepe? Do you like the original? I like the original um I actually really like the original 300 Spartans. It's very different, but it's the same story. It's the exact same story because that's a real thing. Uh, Frank Miller, thank you. Uh, but I couldn't think what he was. I couldn't remember his bloody name. I had Frank Herbert stuck in my fucking head. And I knew it wasn't that. So I didn't say it. Um, yeah, I've got 300 up there. Don't, I ain't got 300 Spartans, though. But yeah. But I said, we have a weirdly warm wind in East Anglia today. Got two loads of washing dry today. Even even risk leaving the third load out overnight because it was supposed to stay dry. Yeah, Frank, man, that's it. Same bloke who did um, Sin City, and it yeah, uh, that's all right as well. I quite like Sin City. I don't think I own Sin City actually. No, I thought I bought Sin City. Where the fuck would I? Where would my Sin City be? Ah, oh, it might be up there. Hang on. Oh no, I have got Sin City. Yeah, yeah, I've got Sin City. That's in my um gangster films. Yeah, Sin, oh, Sin City is a good film and visually nice as well. Um, yeah, I like Three Hundred. Really like that. Good film. What else did Frank Miller do? I don't really know. I'll have a look up. I got the director's cut. I don't know what I've got up there. I don't know if that's the director's cut or not. Yeah. It's, uh, the DVDs, they're really difficult to get because they all sat on top of each other in a great big long thing. And I used to have it sat sideways so you could get them out easier, but we're at to change the room. They're upwards now. So you try and get one from the middle, all of the top ones above it sort of want to fall out. I've got some graphic novels that Penny bought me for my uh, not birthday <laughs> Christmas who needs to get up when you can fucking wheel, wheel yourself along God said, Mike, just admit you like dudes with eight packs of sword. Ha 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 ha. I do, me. I will eventually make some videos of these. I want to actually do some like stills from them and um, set them to the audio books, the ones that you can, the ones that have got audio books that are related to them. 
Although, Penny, you're good enough to read these that I could probably fucking set a video to your fucking book readings. But that's... I'm not requesting that at the moment. Maybe one day. <sighs> Just the four uh, birthday presents came away then. But Alex said, Mike, those headlamps were the ones that were two for six quid. If I buy one for the little one, do you want one? Yeah, go on. That's at the minute. Fuck's sake, sir. And Jock says, fuck, I need to send that video I found about Stephen King Universe. And that's all correct. Yes, please. Yeah. I was. I, that's one of the things I really fucking love about the Stephen King stuff um, drop is that. Yeah. Especially the Dark Tower. They, they pretty much all of his books in some way will connect back to this in some way. Or not this. This is, you know, but the Dark Tower. I mean, I haven't yet, Penny. I've still got it written up there. I promise I will soon, though. I promise I will soon. And I've still got it written in front of me in bright red, the brightest thing on that board. You'll know when I have, because I'll ask you to do some more. And if I'm very lucky, you might say yes. Oh, drop! Oh, not dropped. Metallic. Let's see how good you are. Bloody remembering things. Yeah, I'm on for a bit, Mark. It's a shit at remembering things. What does not this bloke here? Not the bloke with the that you can see properly. But what's the bloke in the background remind you of? What would that remind me of? <clears throat> see if she remembers. See if she paid attention. Penny's a liar. <laughs> you should. Where well, there's one of the freaking legend. Oh no, 100 will. 100 will. I don't know what it is at the minute. I need to get. I just can't get fucking like sorted for one thing. I keep going from one thing to another, to another, to another, to another. <clears throat> I am going off in a minute, though, Mark. Um, Matt said, I want to start reading books. I bought The Hobbit because I like it, and it describes me well. <laughs> yeah, give it a go, mate. It's, the books are fucking great. Books are fucking brilliant. I am reading a non-fiction book at the minute, though, that's quite um, depressing. It's not depressing. It's not depressing. <laughs> Fanny, don't be a sod. <laughs> Um, where are we? Um, I, so I'll show you what I'm reading. It's not depressing, it's just it's not the nicest. Um, oh, fuck, where is it? It's not the best. Uh, well, I don't know how to describe it. It's a, it's a factual book, and a lot of it is because it's real life about addiction so a lot of it he's telling you about the fucking heroin addict he knows that's what I'm reading at the minute <laughs> did I mention plenty of dick <laughs> oh god that's as far as I'm through it as well so I've got a lot to go yet it was quite depressing you know what Penny I still love you you're a fucking sod, but I love you. Right, I'll be going off in a second. Uh, I've got also got a load of shit to clear up now. <laughs> to fucking out. Um, Pepe said, if you have any doubt that hell is real, read about Unit 731, and you'll know hell is real. Um, no, I don't know, mate. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what? I don't know what a sod is. <laughs> I don't know what a sod is, really. I call people a sod. What's a sod? Um, sod. <laughs> sod. An offensive word for a person, especially a man, but you're not a man. 
uh, that you are annoyed with. <laughs> oh, God. Yes. I'm not annoyed with you, though, but I'm just disappointed. All right, I'm off in a minute. I started to tough the grass. Yes. <sighs> oh, thank you, uh, Karina. All right. Yep, yeah, cheers. Matt said, I'm off, Mike. Got a couple of things to do and got to put a film on. Oh, Matt, why don't you put on that um, Twice Under? Let me get the link to Twice Under. Do you want to watch that? If you're still here, I'll put the link to Twice Under quickly on. You might better watch that. It's on YouTube as well. Hang on, mate. I recommend everyone should watch this film. Let me get rid of the bit that puts it out. Um, you're right, Persia. I'm just about to go off. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, no, it's nice to see you on. Matt, um, there's a link there for a Persia. Uh, for a Persia. For a, I've read Penny's thing under it. There's a link there to a um, film you might want to watch. It's an old film, 1989. My mother said, good night, everyone, Mike. Don't forget to watch Black, Bad Black. And I'll, I might watch it tomorrow with her if she's up for it. I don't know what she's doing. Um, yeah. All right. Good night, everyone. See you later. I appreciate it. Uh, everyone's been quite good tonight. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. No, I won't. <laughs> I'll see you next week. I'll see you whenever. I don't know. I'll see you in a video tomorrow anyway. All right. See you later, everyone. Good night. Cheers for watching, everyone. Um, yeah, we might watch Bad Black tomorrow. All right, see you later, everyone. Good night.